uh, Cyrus is Cyrus here is... at like two minutes after the normal start time. <laughs> Rude. What the hell? <laughs> the Are shade you... of it all. Did you not expect it? You fucking whore. No. I was up at four this morning, all right? Because I work so early. And me. I don't know, I'm just used to you being late, I suppose. Okay, guys. You, okay. you run on gay time, you know? It's You're fashionably late. Yeah. Yes. It's like just a wizard. Fashionable. Wizards are never late. They always come at the, at the exact time they, they need to be. No. <clears throat> Sorry if I fucked up the, 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 the sentence. I know it in French. Let's see. <laughs> um, guys, can you can you please um, entertain my dumbiness and tell me how to spell the word mother? Because I'm looking at it as I wrote it. I'm like, this doesn't look right. M-O-T-H-E-R. What doesn't it look like that? Like, I wrote it that way, but I'm like, this seems wrong. There's something wrong. <laughs> Your brain's just not working right right now. He uh, needs some G fuel. Uh, if only I was... Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> hashtag not sponsored. We're not. We're hashtag, not record... wi- hashtag wish we sponsored. We're, we're not recording, so I'm gonna say I need some D juice. No, but we are streaming. Well, we are streaming, so I suppose. Well, what a shame. D juice is not all, acceptable. All we got is is, is the. Big old batter say say bears and dragons who dis. Yeah. <laughs> or I, new I, class who dis. I really need some like vitamin D. <laughs> I mean, you're Canadian, yes you do. Yeah. The sun is like <laughs> hiding from us permanently. Oh, it could be it could be worse. We could be with Yukon. Um, Cyrus. Did yes. you see uh, what I posted in the League of Legends um, channel? I did not. There, there's a League of Legends channel now. There's has been in computer. Yes, I'm sending you a request right now. Cause you posted in that channel. He Back said in September. Just made an account <laughs> for when my new laptop comes. Username is NerdyCob90. Yeah, I do cool. have eyes. I can read. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I just don't like that the whole last hit thing. Uh, the yeah. What? What do you mean, last hit thing? Last hitting minions when you're uh, when you're playing the. Um... If you, if you want to get get gold so you can buy items from the fucking shop. Yeah. God, that's another thing. The shop but thing. There's there's worse in Dota. If you don't last hit, you don't get gold at all. In League, you get passive income. At least. <laughs> then there's uh, then there's uh, hots where there is no money. <laughs> yeah, it's all experience. Yeah, and it's just a boring game. No, oh, sorry. Oops. What? No, it's not. It's <laughs> shit. No shit. Did I say anything? I don't think so. I I've been <laughs> silent the past five minutes. Okay, In what that, world? that could partially that... partially be the reason why. <laughs> The, the, the uh, uh, what was it? What do they call that? The, the Heroes of the Storm uh, Champion uh, series it was canceled. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry, it's like almost as bad as it Paladins, so cool. in my opinion. I have no idea what we're talking about. Uh, different games. Uh, anyway, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft today, so that's what I've been vibing with. How about you guys? I played a lot of WoW. I wow. work. <gasps> work? I worked this morning, and then I've been playing Minecraft. I was supposed to work today. But then, then I came but home and you didn't slept. because you got a hemorrhoid. Am uh, I right? No. <laughs> but yesterday... <laughs> Yesterday, I, I made the mistake to tell my boss my tummy was uh, not feeling well, and uh, they decided I needed to go home. Now, did you accidentally do it, or did you accidentally do it on purpose? <laughs> accidentally do it on purpose. What kind of oh, answer? Excuse you me. Want? Like, my, my tummy was hurting, but like. We want the truth! 
Like, my tummy was hurting, but not hurting, hurting. Like, I, I could have lived. But could you have? Like, I'm a little, little upset tummy. Yeah, like, probably something I hate. But, like, they didn't want it to take any chance, so they literally said, Nope, you're going home. Get the fuck off. <laughs> Meanwhile, my work is like, Hey, is your leg not broken? Can you come in tomorrow? I'm not even kidding. The moment <laughs> I told my boss that my foot was not broken, she was like, oh, so can you come in tomorrow? I'm like, no, it's sprained and I have a torn ligament. No, I can't come in tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, it's not broken, but in some sense it is still broken because I have a torn thing, which makes it broken. Yeah. <laughs> it's a semantic thing here. Yeah, it's, it genuinely feels like if you do not have a legitimate broken bone, they still want you to come in. Like, yeah. And I, I say they, but it's just, like, it's a, it's a smaller company, but it's still a corporation. So it's at that part where uh, they can't afford to not have people come in, if that makes sense. Yeah. this day and age it's like oh well, now you just figure out how if, if they can do, <laughs> do work from home stuff yeah except it's the dollar store so oh, well, yeah that's can't really work from home as much as i wish i could i don't know Same, how that would work, I, wish, I wish i was able to do that I'm part of a, a system where it's we can work from home, but because of bandwidth things, they would really prefer us to be in the office because we'd have so much better internet <laughs> and reliability. System issues. Not much of an excuse when you're in the office. So, but anyways, hey, uh, should we should we play some uh, Bears and Dragons? Oh, yeah, we will. Yeah. Or are you, are you still working on the thing? I mean, that thing's not necessarily going to do anything yet. Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we're okay. Don't worry. Okay, cool. I don't get my thing for another three levels, so yeah, you suck. You guys are getting things? Yeah, we're getting things. <laughs> Haven't you read the, um, the chat lately? Yeah, I put a couple links no. in there. Okay, so first thing you need to know about me, mm -hmm. so, like, I've told y'all, like, my ADHD is incredibly bad. I need to turn any notifications for any Discord servers off, otherwise it drives me actually insane. I know, I did too. <laughs> That's why sometimes Cribs write something, and I write, like, two days afterwards, because I'm like, oh, he, they probably wrote something, let me go check, because otherwise, like, it drives me crazy. It pops on my computer and on my phone. Ah, uh, that's understandable. <laughs> I'm like, no. Well, well then, the, it, then, then there's me and Korea for going nuts because nobody's responding. It's like just a conversation between the two of us. <laughs> Pretty much. If I get pinged, I will most likely respond. Sometimes. Facebook if you're lucky. The, yeah, Facebook is the one if you want to go to contact me correctly. <laughs> Alright. Then... Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. Um, Dustin will message me on Facebook or call me on Facebook and be like, "Hey, just a reminder, we do have D and D today." <laughs> I'm like, "Thank you." Otherwise, I would have forgotten. Where is the lie? Yeah, FYI. Oh, there yeah. is absolutely no lie. That's why I'm say breaking it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like just like uh, before I laid down for my nap today, I sent him a message like, "Make sure your headphones charged." <laughs> My headphones, in fact, are charged. <gasps> da, da, da. You're welcome. Although it was mostly because I remembered to plug them in before I went to bed last night. On a separate note, my room is no longer flooded. Oh, that's good. It was flooded? Yes. It was, it was that hot? Uh, no, my radiator decided to explode. Oh, no. Oh, oh my. I'm not even kidding you. It was like literally arterially spurting across my room. All right. You. 
Yeah, not... Nine out of ten would not recommend. Um, and the reason we found out was because it happened right after my roommate and I went for groceries. Like, two minutes later, we got a call being like, Hey, by the way, there's water leaking from your apartment into your downstairs neighbors. Oi. And, <laughs> yeah. So, previously in Bears and Dragons. Yeah, sorry, I, I I pull everyone off track. It's my special, my, it's okay. my talent. It's okay, Arnie, no swag. Uh, anybody want to recap? Uh, yeah, we killed that mofo dragon. Okay. And then I got killed. We kill and some uh, ice trolls showed up too. That booked us over. Yeah, no, they they they, they fisted our they, ass, and then we turned around and just kicked their ass. Frederica Those died. ice trolls, like yeah, hack Frederica and murdered. Zinderloff, and fortunately, Zinderloff had previously purchased five thousand gold pieces worth of diamonds. Yes, uh, just for this occasion. For this, just for for this sort of thing. The dragon and the dragon was a. Pain in the butt because they kept flying around, and so our DPS couldn't get to them. <laughs> I mean, I just do with Yeah, but you're <laughs> you're, ra you're ranged. Our melee DPS just couldn't get to them for a moment until we ran down its legendary resistances. One with a compelled duel from Criff. One was a fireball. <laughs> that was a fun fireball. Yeah. Fireballs are nice. Alright. I just updated. Uh, Zinderloff now has 4,700 gold pieces worth of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's important, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I am going to summarize one thing. Because I'm assuming you want to loot the lair. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. But not only the lair, I really want to loot the um, the dragon's corpse. Okay. First lair. All right. Because I already got that. Because I, I really want... I really want the dragon, I really want the dragon's heart. Girl, what are you gonna do with the dragon's heart? I take personal offense to that. Same. You took wings, you goblin. Uh, those were kobold wings. They are a lesser being. They do not count. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you find it all stuck in ice, which you believe that it will take some time to hack out. Takes about a half a day. Burning hands. There we go. That, that'll work too. Um, be careful. <laughs> be careful because you do notice that there's a scroll a scroll inside the eyes. It is written in the sheet. There is 700 gold Wait. pieces. The sheet? What do you mean? Cra uh, Crave's bag of holding, which is well, considered... I'm working. Did you just copy and paste it in there? Yeah, I just copied and pasted. Okay. But that's my I mean, sheet. it works. It, that's mine. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me take it off. No, well, no, 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 no. stop it's it. It's too just, late just, now. Just save it. Everybody close it. Reopen it. In any case, the <laughs> yeah. same information will be there. There were 700 gold pieces, 1,000 silver pieces. You find about 20 precious stones, five of which you, uh, our, our jewel crafter, um, our jeweler would be able to uh, appraise to be at 200 gold pieces, five four th 400 gold pieces, five 600 gold pieces, and five 800 gold piece gems. Nice. Sister Frederica tells, tells you that. Uh, you find some various uh, statues and paintings, which seem to be well preserved. Uh, it must have been like some sort of magical enchantment or, on them or something uh, to prevent them from degrading and ice. Uh, but uh, there's about seven art pieces uh, that you would estimate to be about 250 gold pieces each. 
you do find a potion of a greater potion if you didn't <laughs> which uh, our our uh, local Cyrus would be able to identify for you because strangely enough Ring. it looks very similar to a like, regular potion of healing it just <gasps> who would have thought it that bigger and you find What's a spell twist? scroll of flame arrows Ooh. 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 I'm all excited now like, let me fix this now so I can make it proper so it doesn't bug me. <laughs> I have a format. You give it access well, so you can see it. Sorry. Well, because it's just like, it's not like coalesced together, so it's like gold piece here, gold piece here. Like, that. I was like, no. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I, I, actually, I, I, I did something. Since it's Chris' bag of holding, only Chris should be able to tag it. <laughs> oh no, it's there Yay! so we could just put it there as a group. That yeah. was the initial reasoning. It's the group. It's the group um, party. Sh the the. Yeah, but group. I've always been the one that's gonna keep in track of the the loot. Sorry, look, I'm, see, I'm he's the he's look. Kriv is the hordes person. Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, you keep doing it. I'm just used to be the one doing it. <laughs> Here we go. So that, there that's to okay. summarize what, what, what loot's in there. But it take it will take about a half a day to probably to even like chip it out a little faster with uh, Cyrus's burning hands. But it's, <laughs> you know, you're in the cold north that even fire, it's still going to take a little longer than, like, in a place where a white dragon w was at, which caused it to be cold, unnaturally cold. Yeah. Um, this is, this is a place that is cold. So, uh, more conventional needs are usually necessary, but uh, uh, burning hands still does help, just not as much. And then there's my weapon, too. Since it's fire. Uh, and Gizzly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, well, that's that's some of the tools you're, hanging, you're using to hack it out. Yeah. Okay, so then we should go searching throughout the rest of the lair to find the chaos. So I'm assuming you'll be, be coming out the same way that you came in. Um, is yeah, everything empty on this uh, on this uh, uh, layer? I'm sorry. La now that yeah, the we dragon just is, everything. Yeah, now that the dragon is gone, we're gonna explore the rest of the this like underground. Maybe the Makarat is there. So. The cat. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> M A C C A T H. I'm not the only one fucking up names. I feel assaulted. <laughs> so yeah, maybe maybe she's here. It. I'm not gonna assume it's gender. Oh yeah. Them. We, yeah, yeah, we were told. It's, it's her. She. Maybe yeah. she doesn't identify as such. Oh, all right, she, maybe she's down the down here. Everybody so. has referred to her as she. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, the all knowing Dan her... said she. Therefore, her identity is she. Done. End of discussion. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna explore the rest of the cavern because I know like there was um, find her and then go back to like the treasure room because there was that chest. Yeah. Let's that we didn't her. want to set off. Oh, Let's find right. her yeah. and then... So yeah, we're going to go up. In the chest, you find 375 gold pieces. Yeah. One sec. Uh, hold on, I'm going to copy paste, paste it for you. Okay. Not touching. Not touching. <laughs> Uh, 
Here. Okay. <laughs> oh! I like Tyrion. You have uh, 375 gold pieces, uh, 1,480 electrum pieces. Damn, electrums. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see I, that I that often. Didn't exist. <laughs> Let, let's just say they didn't exist. Let's just say they're silver piece and I want mine. Like, nope, they're electrum. Because I know they're worth less than, than gold but and more than silver. They're, 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 it, while gold is basically... One gold is ten silver. One electrum is five silver. Yeah. Well, well. When we get back to Waterdeep, we'll do a conversion. Uh, Four hundred seventy-five uh, silver pieces plus jewelry and precious objects worth uh, another two hundred twenty-five. So uh, they're not much, but they're. But you could easily sell oh. them for a total of two hundred twenty-five gold pieces. Um, where is the the list that you the second one? Uh, I whispered it to Crit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting those one. <laughs> Why don't I get to see the list too? I'm nice. Well, it's making sure somebody else didn't try, <laughs> try anything. Hey, I did nothing. I'm innocent. No, you're not. Yeah, we both know you're not innocent. Like, who, are you, who are you trying to fool? Myself. Like, oh, well, miss, if, in that case... Miss, I'll burn down the village. <laughs> hey, it would have worked. We can keep can going, I a, like, while I... I'm gonna make a very quick statement. Mm -hmm. But, like, I absolutely love Minecraft bees. I know this is a very random statement, but I made one the earlier today, and I love it. Like, if a Minecraft bee was like, hey, murder somebody, I'd be like, yes, what, who, where, when and where, why? No, you wouldn't ask why. <laughs> I truly love Minecraft bees. It's okay. We love you too. Bitch, uh, you ain't a Minecraft bee. You don't know that. Alright, children. Alright. So, I put Zinger Law where everybody is. <laughs> right now. You were, you guys were able to to like pack away the stuff in your bags of holding and and uh, uh, handy hammer sacks. Yeah. Um. Did we loot the boat that was there? That we were just talking about. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's literally the chest. I was like, we gotta find open that one chest that we found in the treasure room. So I know everybody's finding it disgusting. The trophy. Was it okay if I took the heart? Sure, roll me a survival check. Sure. Um, I think Cyrus would probably be like, no, dude, that's not okay. Uh, it takes some time to do thick dragon scales and very cold environment and everything, but uh, you're able to easily uh, carve out the heart and put it into your question though do you, well, do you do have it a, that do you, you make... a, do you have a a bag of holding or did you have a haversack i have a bag of holding okay so yeah you could probably shape it around and kind of stuff it in it's breaking pretty big um, yeah I, I figured but the question is do you just blatantly say that you're going for the heart or is this one of those things that he asked um if uh we anyone would be opposed to him taking it and then cyrus said yes I would be opposed to you to you taking it. Anyone else? Why? Crew will ask why you want it. Dragons are powerful creatures, and sometimes the power of I know that. powerful creatures <laughs> resides in their heart. I may check with ritualists to um, use this heart. 
for um, boosting uh, hard baby hard babies or mine if you don't if you don't want so. You would Kirk, what? No, uh, would Kirk, Kirk would be able to tell if something like that would be able to work, right? He would know. Roll me a history check. The, I, I also have to keep in mind that that your memory of being the dragon, like yeah. you remember that you were, but your memory is still foggy. Yeah. So no, it wasn't understand. like completely erased, but you recall that you have to think hard about it. You have no idea. It's like, does that does that work? It's like it's like tickling something. Oh wait, 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 wait a minute! It's it's, it's 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 related to dragons, so do it with advantage. Uh, okay. Yeah. Not twenty. Worst case, it's still. No, fine. you have no idea. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, it's still fast. <laughs> it's, it's like I have a plus zero in. <laughs> Yeah, my intelligence is still plus zero. So, I'm I'm not going to say anything right now. Just a single like, I yeah. I'm just going to uh, stay it, silent. Zindralov goes out and it's like, you know, if we were to to have some money maybe some of the dragon scales and the hide oh yes some armor could be made yeah made. oh maybe a light armor could be good yes 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 yeah well, well I mean, not like, for us obviously because well and he looks at his own armor <laughs> yeah i could <laughs> i could forge something and then we can sell it for a profit yeah no you have a right you're, you're, you're right let me skin that one I'm I'll just show him the same survival. I, I, I yeah, easily get get as as much scales as you could, guys can fit in your bags. The only thing scales is, you want to all. stuff all your your you know, the, the stuff into it. You have to cut it into pieces in order to fit it into your bags, though. Yeah, I, I'm trying to fit like squares of like patchworks. <laughs> Because otherwise, we can still make scale mail, right? I could, I could probably fashion a few different types of armor out of it. Oh, yeah. Um. So yeah, like a high, like a high type leather, a special high type leather scale mail, and stuff like that. Kriv's winter okay. collection. Oh my god! <laughs> Coming to Waterdeep. <laughs> Coming to Waterdeep sometime soon. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it was just, too easy to do. <laughs> just give me like, depending on the rarity, like a month or so. <laughs> just straight working on. <clears throat> you also have Layden. Yeah, well, but he's, he's still, still learning. Proficiency, so yeah, he's still Although, learning. Although with the amount of hide and everything, like right now, you probably pop up the 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 um, pop up the layer and it, that's an alternative right now is you can pop up the layer and just like start carrying everything in there <laughs> mm-hmm. which probably actually might be better because then we can we don't um we can get bigger pieces of scale so it's easier to fashion other things just thinking smithy but that's and, up to cyrus and and because of the the amount of material you could probably use some of that as kind of like pa- practice material for Layden, mm-hmm. for for him uh, doing the dragon forge. <laughs> yes, yeah. but that's up to Cyrus if he wants to pop that open. Oh yeah, of course. Well, technically, we could just stow the whole dragon in the in the library for now. Absolutely no. not. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's already frozen over. The dragon is not frozen care. over. It will... <laughs> it will... It's in really cold weather right now. <laughs> but also, you get it to the, into the library, it's going to warm up and it, ruin the books. Yeah, well... Yeah, but he, I mean... He, 
I would assume part of the thing is like a huge storage area for materials that was probably created by by Cyrus. Uh, like there's I there's the main forge smithy area. Or- and then a storage area for materials. <laughs> it's okay. He but the, the thing is, the doorway and the doorways, in order to get to that, won't fit. Like, you can't just haul the dragon into it. There. You would still have to cut it skin them and cut them up in, into pieces in order to do that. Cut and also, Crib is okay with this because it, it's, it's reused. <laughs> Well, he's okay with white dragons and all. He's okay with like the, the chromatics because they are a part of life. Tiamat is just destruction. That's not okay. And also, re- reduce, reuse, recycle. It's the way of the world. There's like there's plenty of uses for it, so it's one of those things that it's okay for him. We stated it before, Kriv has no issues with chromatics themselves. They are a part of life. Oh, it's just Tiamat. <laughs> so. Okay. Right. So you, you've got a shitload of uh, uh, dragon hides, dragon scales, uh, all white, from a white dragon. Uh, put it into a, a storage room off the um, in a storage room that's like in the I, I, I'm assuming there's like an like an area like there's an alcove which has like rooms that go off the side each of them have like for for different perfections one of them is like the smithy it's a huge ass fridge to make sure nothing, nothing smells then, then there's one one hallway which goes into to the like storage chamber for materials, <laughs> which is set at a certain temperature in order to preserve anything <laughs> that might need to be preserved until it's been treated properly. You know, it won't. Uh, it, Layden, it's a process. Layden says, "Huh? I know there's a book in here about tanning hides um, to, to to make sure." Um, Layden, <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's that that book about tanning hides? The 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 the, the leather care thing. Oh, I got it. And, and, and Lemmy goes off for a second. She comes down and says, "Oh, wait, there was a copy down here too." But here, <laughs> Layden takes it and starts kind of like reading it and like studiously uh, doing it and says, and just kind of like he he kind of like flies off. He's reading while he's flying. Uh, off into that the room, skill. and uh, uh, and he like goes into the room looking for the appropriate materials that he may need to to tan hides. <laughs> Daddy, I may need need to send somebody to get some materials. I don't have everything I need here. <laughs> we'll be going back home soon, so we can grab what we need. Okay, ah, this will be a great project. That it will. I'm so happy. Yay! The smithy and crib is just like beaming that he, Layden's just taking to it. So he doesn't get to forge that much because of all this adventuring. Sad and sad. You, you, you do, if you do pop into the smithy, you see like some of the scrap uh, uh, that has been in there. Um, has been put into a pile and you see like these really poorly made like swords and stuff but it looks like it's stuff that he's like been trying to make it and then when he's done trying to make it he like melt smelts it all down <laughs> and, and he tries making it again just kind of like this or, or it, you see one that's actually pretty good you know it's not great but it's it's not bad it's good it's, it's, it's good good but then you see him like toss it in to, <laughs> to be smelted down again the idea is that he's just redoing he's, it he's, constantly. He's re, reusing stuff in order to 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 try to get a get a get hand, proficiency. Hand yeah. But now, soon we, he'll now help. he's looking into to possible leather work. <laughs> yes. He can make bracers, hide uh, hide armor, leather armor. He's just becoming an armorsmith. 
That's what his. Look at that's what him his, go. It's a speciality. Uh, you, you've got Lemon the Librarian. You've got the uh, Layden the uh, uh, Smithy Arnold, Smith, <laughs> the, the Craftsman. There we go. Uh, and you got Chitant the Rogue. <laughs> Chitant, Chitant the Spy. Chitant the Trickster. Look, Rogue is a general term. It doesn't mean that they're they're bad. Spies are rogue no. subset, you know. No, I, they're all finding their place in the world. Yes, and yes. Crit is all about that. <laughs> that's a, that's perfect. That's, that's exactly what it yeah. needs to be. <laughs> they're finding their calling. Our babies are growing. <laughs> after it's set. Uh, after hauling the material into to uh, the lair, um, from the lair, from lair to lair, um, you guys are able to to go back up the, the the tunnel you had. You went into the treasure room. You found some more stuff. You threw it in the bag of holding, uh, uh, the the group bag of holding. Um, and uh, now, what do you want to do? Uh, let's explore the uh, upper, the other rooms that we haven't explored yet. Okay. Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, I say we continue the way we, we started. Like instead of going to the in the pit, we just continue walking. Halt! Halt! Yes. Long rest. Okay, so you, you, you open some... the lair, take a long rest. Oh, uh, yes. you, you want to do a long rest? Spell slots, HP, all that kind of stuff, just in case something else is in here. By as the way, much... Frederica, you have six hit points. I know, but as much <laughs> as I... I know, I know totally I have six hit points. As much as I agree that I must disagree because we don't know what they're going to do with... M Mac I'm going to fuck up her name. Macrath again. Macau. Wait. The Mech dragon's dead, yeah. so they're not gonna like. It's we got a little breathe room. The dragon is dead, but maybe they're going to alert someone. Maybe they're gonna take Macau uh, uh, away. We need to find her before doing the long rest. In my opinion, but that's just me. At, at the at the very least, uh, I can drink potion. I have probably enough potion to like get up a bit. Um, Cyrus, what do you think? Because I know Gizli and Kriv are both pretty, are tapped out of spell slots. I, uh, I don't, I don't have my strongest, enough. but I do have no, some. Thirds, uh, one second and three first for, for Zendra Love. Three first. Because I know. Or one second. That's it. Okay. That's all I've got. Giz, what's Gizli? Okay, he is back up to normal. Kriv is still sitting pretty. Like damage-wise, it's all not all that. I I guess like it's group choice. What we want to do? I say short rest, so we're back up to par in case we come up against more ice trolls or something like that because if we come up against them and like Gizli and I are out of spell slots to be able to do much we I are I agree with the short rest well the short rest they can do squat for us for spell slots we can get know. those back on and on I know um, I it's really until we find Mecra and we need like what happened if they if they in our long rest of eight hours not in the lair so we don't know anything uh they they leave with her or uh one of the the clan members who comes to see the uh the cult member who comes to see the dragon realize the dragon is dead or in their like we have a a a small amount of time to find Kriv, you would know that 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 based off of how much treasure was in his lair, 
This probably wasn't his only lair. I would reiterate that. You would what? Uh, oh. This isn't his only lair. This was one of many of that dra that particular dragon's lairs. Oh. Um, but I, we could do. We'll put a group quote of long or short. Yeah. I say short. I think a short rest would be good. Would be okay. I have my um. Uh... Wizard thingy that lets me restore spell slots. So, my hmm. arcane recovery. Oh, but Criv, don't you have your channel divinity? Nope. No. Channel, channel divinity uh, comes back in short rests. Yeah, but those are all. Well, I get channel divinities, but I don't get my harness divine power until long on um, long run. I understand, but if you channel divinity and get a spell slot back, you can still at least. I don't chant. My channel divinity doesn't work like that. It's my divine harness power that uses up my channel divinities. Oh, yeah. It, it's kind of like it's like it's an ability that uses up another ability. Oh, is it, thinking along the lines of like a a divine uh, smite. Yeah. Yeah. Understand. Okay. So uh, I yeah I would have to get a long rest to get be able to do that back. No. Um. Maybe. Sadly, most of my stuff is lo all long rest. My yeah, that my our healing pool, um, our oh. spell slots. But okay. it's we still got it's two two because Disney Crip would be that. So it's up to Zen. Well, I would I would offer something in that case. Um, Cyrus, do you still have invisibility? Yep. Maybe we could just do a sneak mission and find uh, Macau and if or if she's here, and if she's not, we go in a long rest, finish up the dungeon. If we find her, we just take her away for 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 a long rest and come back, finish up. Well, here, okay, here's this. Zin, what is your yeah choice? I feel that the danger has passed. Um, that going now, or, or taking a, a short rest and going now, we will, I feel that we have, we're probably safe enough. Um, alternatively, um, I also feel that because we're safe enough as it is, that taking a long rest it will not change much to the effect, to the matter. Then you're not helping. So, um... <laughs> okay, let's just then go ahead, take a long rest, a uh, short rest. Um, we'll we'll just go with that, the short rest part, yeah. and and if hope to God dire, nothing happens. Yeah, if thing gets di mm -hmm. dire, we we escape. So, but a short, short rest. rest. Okay. So you can spend hit dice. Yeah, and I will. Look, look at me doing that hit dice. Yes, I will spend all of my hit dice. I'm not going to worry about that because I literally have two HP. I lost two HP. <laughs> Healing pool. Lay on hands for two. Fuck so, it. Sixteen. And why waste the dice? Twelve. So I healed twenty-eight. Where does that set you at, um, Cyrus? I'm at 56 out of 67, and I will use my, um... Come here. Um, arcane how recovery. Much you... So, how much more do you need? Uh, you the full? 11. Alright, I'll lay on hands for the rest of the 11. Yay! Um... And I'll just spread the wealth. Uh, sister, I'll do 13 to you. Okay. Um, that's 66. And I need to do... Because I won't get that back until long rest anyway, so might as well make it so we're all good. I and understand. Zen doesn't have to use... We're all at 
Max. Zen doesn't have to. Zen is Zen is gonna use one of uh, his highest divine powers to regain a second level spell slot. I just want to say, I just want to say, um, I'm full, <laughs> and I Definitely. didn't even use any uh, potions. I'm That's one... good. That's why we're trying to go off and not get any, so we can save those. Yeah, I'm one over with the whole thing with the whole shebang. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Well, you're one over. Yeah. So we'll do twelve for you. But I still have one HP. Well, one in my HP pool. In case yeah, we need... You're getting empty. <laughs> yeah. You have enough to if be you like... you go down, <laughs> he'll pop you off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just you enough. <laughs> Just enough to stabilize someone. So we're, we're not going to meta. We're going to do the whole round stuff. And at the end, we're going to go to actual where she is, I guess. Yeah. We're not going to... We're going to do it like we normally would do it. it, it basically and... going the same... It, around the that circle the same way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we would come upon this room first. Okay, so hold on. Let, let me... Let me get... Uh, that room is empty. Okay. Okay. Then we'll go uh, up here. Yeah. Then we see... Uh, the icy, the empty ice floor of this chamber holds a very un most unaccepted site. A large shelter is seemingly built of scraps in the style of the tents used by the desert nomads of Kalimsha. Kalimsha. Some 2,000 miles to the south. And uh, you don't see kobolds. So, um, there's a shelter here. But yeah, so so it would be. Hold on, let me let me do a little freehand drawing here. So it's like the the shelter thing is here with like it flaps here. Uh, go ahead and uh, call out to see if Macaf is here. Come in. Well, that was fast. Says a female voice. <laughs> uh, Are on. you? Hold on. I, I, yeah, I need. I need you guys to move back for a second. Thank you. Uh, Cyrus, okay. aren't you on the place? You're still back there. Okay. Right. It, it. We don't all have to. I know. Move. The interior of the shelter is surprisingly warm, thanks to a small stove and simple uh, lamps uh, burning aromatic whale oil. Carpets are heaped on the floor in thick layers and tapestries from every culture in Faerun, uh, hung suspended from a sturdy frame of whale ribs. Uh, books and scrolls are stacked neatly on tables, and reading st stands made of hide and whalebone. The only furnishings in the shelter not made by from these natural materials are the carpets and tapestries and a portable writing desk that appears to have been taken from a sailing ship. Seated at the writing desk is a female tiefling wearing a blazing crimson cloak over tailored furs. The cloak is fastened with a silver and ivory brooch bearing a design reminiscent of a stylized branching tree, the symbol of the Arcane Brotherhood. Uh, there are no cobalt attendants that stand nearby, glancing nervously between you and the tiefling. <laughs> <laughs> After a few moments, the tiefling looks up with the expression of pale disinterest and asks, Have you come to save me or kill me? Well, oh, we get the difference between the two. We came to save you. The dragon save. is dead. The dragon is dead. You're safe. He's gone. Yeah. Yes. Oh. We killed him. That's interesting. She seems to have looked back down at her work. What is it that you are working on? It's these texts. It's like he stole all these texts from the Arcane Brotherhood a long time ago. And it's just the language is just a little bit off. I can't quite understand it, but 
He's been wanting me to decipher this, and now, well, I want to. <laughs> well, well, we there's uh, Cyrus, Cyrus, this type of attitude and and like uh, focus on uh, on this sure. arcane work is the same it's sort. Very familiar. But, yeah. <laughs> Um, I would like to well, see if I can... Go ahead, Kriv, sorry. There is nothing that says you can't take this with you now. Uh, we can bring you back to the Arcane Brotherhood and you will have access to all your uh, research and sources of knowledge from there to help you decipher this. It's not like the dragon is going to need it anyway. Did I'm guessing have... there'll be... Did... Do you have anything to be able to take any take all of this? I mean, there's even much more stuff in the scriptorium. Oh, do oh, we? Yes. Yeah, yes. We <laughs> yeah, we do. Don't worry. Transportation is uh, not an issue for us at all. Hmm. We, just, we just all we just all look at Cyrus, and especially <laughs> for books. <laughs> and uh, we have plenty like, of shelf space. Self space, and I'll wink. It is as well, here. Let me show you show you what happens. She gets up from the desk and um, she moves up into here. Let's go there. Where you see three shelves stand on the otherwise empty ch chamber, cobbled together out of salvaged wood, whalebone uh, pieces of giant armor, and even the the fallen limbs of yetis. A number of scrolls, books, parchments, and folios are carefully arranged on the shelves, all bearing the markings of magical writing. So, Cyrus, don't come in here. You're going to have a heart attack. You're, you're going to cream your pan. No, you're going to have a heart attack because they're badly maintained. I think Kriv was closer to the bark. <laughs> Now, see, the problem... I don't know if Kriv can still hear us. Yeah. Nice. He can hear you. Yeah, see, the problem isn't that Cyrus is going to cream his pants. The problem is that Cyrus doesn't wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, she says... Uh, this section over here, uh, it was uh, the items that were stolen from the host tower, the arcane. Uh, I recommend that you do not try to produce this. Uh, it, it can be very dangerous. Um, okay. Let me put uh, this on the... Everything else, actually, it was not. So if you would like to peruse some of that to see if you find it, anything interesting. Uh, you would be able to find in here that there are some sc spell scrolls, and I put all of them are are, are in the uh, chat. Yeah, I got it. Some of these I think Cyrus already has or will have access to. Yeah, mm -hmm. he doesn't okay. have disintegrate right now. Uh, but you can still keep just... the scrolls, so somebody that's not Cyrus <laughs> yeah. could use it too. So. But like, Correct. old monster is so strong. All right, there goes me. My goodness. Is so this you, all? So you you show her the. I'm assuming that you would uh, show her the. Uh, there. You do see near the western end of the scriptorium a 15 foot wide chute, uh, which you assume leads down to uh, the lair. Oh, correct. That would have been faster. The only thing is, it looks like it's more straight down. Uh, it is big enough for the, like, knowing white dragons uh, enough, you would be able to see that this would be a great way for Arator to access this area. Um, and, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, is this all you need to bring? I mean, oh, we're bringing everything. 
yeah, all of this work will, will be fine. And, and when she sees, sees the lair, she's impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. I, it's not much, but feel free <laughs> to put up your feet. A lot of books about to get rewritten in there. <laughs> uh, a re, uh, a, you, Lemon doesn't seem to be in sight when she comes in. Um, you, uh, Kriv could t see that Layden uh, pe peers into the library when he hears the noises, uh, makes this kind of like, <gasps> and rushes off. And he he comes back in his like uh, uh, tabard, all all just like like he's all, he's, he's so excited he's, he's about butler. visitors. He 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 turns into a butler. <laughs> nice. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Layden, or uh, Layden is Alfred to Kriv's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> he's alfred and robin he's like like uh, do be careful with <laughs> from from Jatan. he's been known to cause a little bit of trouble he's probably invisible right now <laughs> if your food goes missing it's his fault but don't worry don't worry the the, the other student dragons could easily get you some 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 quick replacements so it's it's not that big of a deal. He just likes to pull pranks on people. No, it's part of training. It's annoying. Thank you, Layden, for helping us. I also and, agree. Thank you, Layden. <laughs> I scratch his favorite spot. It is unbelievable. He does, he does, he's, he does the foot thump. <laughs> it is oh! It is unbelievable that you believe it's always Shatan. Layden can smell him. He knows when it's Shatan like, and when invisible. it's not. No fair. <laughs> he knows when he can. It's like he goes invisible. You can't see him, but you still. Macath is uh, actually fascinated in, uh, uh, from uh, Layden's uh, gold scales. It's like he's a black dragons but this one is not what are you actually a black dragon or a gold dragon i both i turn to mccat <laughs> and say uh you'll see that all our wormlings are special in one way grace of bahamut with it well pleased to meet you <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cyrus would probably call out to Lemon because he wants to show Lemon off like the the proud parrot he is like look at my child do <laughs> uh, uh, Lemon uh, is in, in the library if this is all taking place like right at the library yeah. for year uh, you see her kind of leap down from from the top and uh, kind of like float down and land gracefully. So says, I would says, expect absolutely nothing less. She she she's looking suspiciously at Macath. New person. It says, mm -hmm. "How are you with books?" And she says, uh, "I love them." <laughs> and she goes, "I like you." <laughs> you may you may wait, stay. Wait. And then and then all of a sudden her <laughs> eyes grow like anime shocked grow at all the <laughs> reading materials and she's like oh, can i read them <laughs> she's like also just some things you, you probably don't want to <laughs> do it's it's arcane in, in nature and it, it depending on your current situation is uh, magical <laughs> also just none. Um, uh, Kriv. No, no, I saw it. That's it's, not how this is like. It's it's adult. It's adult laden in half and half form in his butler suit. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> it's cute. Well, I don't know. Maybe, we don't know. We're not there I, yet, I and that, so I I honestly think that that. As he grows up, he's he's going to probably take uh, 
that if he once he gets the, his change shape ability, he's he's gonna try to look like his dad. Oh. Oh. Um, I one hundred and ten percent think that Lemon would uh, she would one hundred percent look like Yennefer. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> she would totally look like Yennefer. That would be her human form with with the me. person that you're referring to. Me neither. Um, uh, the, Witcher. the Witcher. It's okay. It's not that great. About the Basically Witcher, a very pretty, tall, um, dark hair, purple eyes. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Crib knows where I'm going with this, and it's like, it's actually perfect for her. Now, are we talking about Yennefer show or Yennefer game? Um, probably Yennefer game. I mean, both are very pretty. Yes. All right, but let's go, yeah. let's go on with the, with the, the, the game. This is literally, that's literally the first time you've ever said that. <laughs> it's okay when you're <laughs> no it's still not okay I'm getting reprimanded when I do so thank you <laughs> there okay oh nice yeah um so do we do you need anything else from this place or do you know any prisoner in this place all right uh, no, uh, it was just me. Uh, there are the ice toads. Are they ice, ice toads? toads? Yes. Okay, here. Well, but, they but, sound but, like heaps of fun. They would, pro <laughs> they would probably actually want to know if uh, I was I was leaving. That would be taking some of these items. Uh, come, come, follow me. And she, Hi. it she takes you to where is it? Uh, she takes you up here, and it's a bizarre sight, Grey Two, in this uh, rough walled chamber. About a dozen ice uh, giant toads with thick mottled white white hides are at work here, scribing strange writings into the walls, the ice of the walls, or into weathered parchment and stone tablets. A few toads transfer parchments and tablets into and out of the out of floor to ceiling cubby holes uh, cutting the ice along the entire southern wall. Uh, uh, Macatha goes, goes, my fault. And she's speaking Dracotic. Ooh. Uh, and uh, when the ice tubes, uh, uh comes up, says, ah, yes, my dear. I yeah, translate for Zen. Oh, do we have some new people here? Here, well, uh, yes. Uh, yes, I just wanted to let you know that um, I've always been taken care of. I'm sure you probably can have, have sense that. Um, we shall be leaving. Um, and we'll be taking the, all of my work out of here. Uh, we'll I'll probably we'll probably be going back to the host tower of the Arcane Brotherhood. Oh dear me, I have a lot of work to do here. Here, I mean, I have all this data about about Arthur's treasures, his many tablets, and all of the battles with the Frost Trains and other monsters. Oh, I've got a lot of work to be done done here, and all my assistants. Hmm. It is so. It is so bad that that he had. Uh, we are very sad that he is actually dead because this is some interesting data. This is really seems weird coming from a, from a toad. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um. In general, she's she has a lot of like categorization work. Uh. What was it? Uh, 
Um, she's also amassed uh, extensive details on the ever-changing sea of moving ice, the weather north of the spine of the world, and the culture of the elusive ice hunters. What is the elusive um, ice hunters? The people uh, above the people us. you were talking talking to when you arrived. <laughs> Well, and we're very they're standoffish. Not, they're not, they were not that elusive. <laughs> um, in general, the ice hunters staying in one place is odd. Mm. They're nomads, so they would be moving around. Normally, they would moving be moving around as nomads uh, around the sea of moving ice. They they're not meant to sit. In, they they're not ones to actually stay in one place i understand um mccaff says well you know this all this information that you have collected would be very interesting to my associates at the host out if you would like we can help you pack up and and actually come down with us. This would make us into a safe spot. You would have a bunch of colleagues that would be very interested in the information that you you're doing. And we've got a lot of data that probably needs help helps sorting. You are amazing uh, at you and your friends are are absolutely amazing at, at taking care of all of this. Huh? And she says, "Well, there are our dead." I don't really have much to do here, and I don't, I don't want to lose my work. But if you do have the means of being able to transport it, yes, yes, I would definitely like to come. And it sounds like I've never been south of this line of the world. It'd be very interesting to go with, to check out. Well, my friend, it seems like we have an accord. We have a. Oh my God, that's so exciting! Uh, if you were to take Marflub into the uh, lair uh, after some suspicious activity, but then all of a sudden, anything when she she's looking around the lair at all the at all the books, Lemon and Marflub would get along super well. Yes. <laughs> after the normal suspicious, but like I got to suss you out and all. <laughs> she's like and then then she's like <laughs> <laughs> the nose knows um, yeah so with the help of the layer uh, in some transporting you w should be able to uh the other ice toads, while well, they're, they seem to like not really be interested in sticking around for the work, but it, it, with McCaff is also saying, "Hey, we've got other people that can do this. <laughs> uh, do, do the work that they're doing." Uh, Marfold will be coming with, but the other ice toads are going to find their way to, way here, or they're going to kind of like stay at the lair since it's not really being used anymore. Yeah. By anything. Is there any other resident beside the, let's say, 20 kobolds and um, five ice trolls in this place? What are you talking about? Well, there was uh, we... about 20 kobolds and five, uh, five We know ice only five. Trolls. We only know about five ice or really the kobolds that we saw earlier. I forgot about them. Yeah. Or are you asking the ice toad? Oh, the ice toad is that, yeah, there the are servants of Altra. I'm not sure if they would stick around after he's dead. Okay. Well, the rest of the lair is yours. Um, Cyrus, do you have ascending? Ascending? I do not think so. Cinder Bluff raises his. Uh, no, actually, he can't. He doesn't have the spell slot. Oh, if that's the only thing, if that's the only thing we're going to wait, uh, it might be a good idea to tell our uh, giant friend that uh, some of the giant carcasses are being uh, 
the file in this place. Maybe he wants to rec um, take them away and bury them to correct grounds. We will have to keep that in mind for later. Yeah. Wow, well, right. he doesn't have any prepared, so. So, uh, where is the uh, fastest exit from this cold place? Uh, calf will probably take you across the hall. Okay. Well, that doesn't look like the place we came in, so let's be careful like go while going up. Uh, let's see here. That's area two. In here is basically uh, uh, a, a, and it's an access point to the town hall. Oh, it's um, the general one. Yeah, it's, it's the it's the front door, not the back door. Yeah, exactly. And uh, there's a ladder which leads up to some steps, just like the other one. Uh, but these steps seem to be more maintained. Mm. Uh, so it's easier for us to climb up. Yeah. Uh, you do see what looks to be a uh, sniff, a, a sick uh, ice hunter down here. A Zindralov immediately uh, casts Lesser Restoration on him to uh, heal him. And he feels much better. Thank you, Zindralov. I am a healer. It's natural for me. Let's go up. Uh, going up, uh, you see a bunch of people packing. <laughs> uh, apparently, the death uh, of the dragon was felt in various ways. And it seems like and you see the chieftain and uh, bone carver the shaman uh, as soon as they see you uh, uh, are delighted it says, it says it seems strange but somehow we can tell that he's dead we did see some of the ice trolls and kobolds go off and and they, they popped up out and they just kind of like ran off and the only thing that we could think of of something like that happening is if their master was dead is it true? It is. It is. Folks, let's pack up with Raven. Hurrah! <laughs> yeah, no. Like, we, 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 would, we would love to give you a little bit of celebration. We've got some great fermented fish, this time without any poison. <laughs> we, oh, without the we, poison we, would be the best. <laughs> we accept your generosity. Thank you so much. So, uh, there, there is no poison. <laughs> it is good fish. <laughs> it's fermented fish, so take that as you will. But there I mean, a... I will take fermented fish over not fermented fish. Over poisoned fish? Done... Yeah, over poisoned <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> Imagine how bad it would have been if we'd have been poisoned before fighting the, the dragon. Trey not fun. Trez not fun. No, I'm uh, Sister Frederica is saying that to like the 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 um, uh, traductor. Yeah. Yeah. You you do see it's like they want to uh, they're they're offering you with some that your the the offers of the choicest fermented fish yeah. and uh they but they i do see like they're looking to get out of their asap <laughs> they've been here long enough they're nomads and they've been in one place <laughs> way too long was it Is just it the a dragon was keeping them prisoner or they just couldn't escape because um 
Bone Carver will evenly tell you kind of like the story of of what it was when he Oh, let me see. Get it. So the Ice Hunters were nomads and they lived in the north for far longer than any humans. Um, the Ice Hunters came aware of the dragon's iceberg generations ago, desiring servants to guard his lair during his long absences. The dragon killed just enough of the tribes folks to force the rest to obey out of terror. Using their unsurpassed ability as scouts, they not, they act acted as uh, earth tours, uh, eyes and ears on the sea of moving ice. And oh, okay. His thralls ever since. And if they That's ever like... chose to leave the iceberg, we'd hunt them down and take his horrific revenge. So that's like super big shitty. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's why we're very excited to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun with your yeah. new freedom. You can do it, guys. Be we kind with adventurers. For a very long time, of course we can. <laughs> Be kind with adventurers. Do not we poison people. Were. <laughs> we were. Before. Poisoning people is big bad. Do not do that. That's, like, not fun for anybody. Well, we don't normally do that. <laughs> um. So let's go back home, guys. Yeah, That's time to head back guys. to Waterdeep. Yeah. yeah, we'll rest here for, for the night, and then head forward back to Waterdeep to talk to the eyes of Io, and then to um, Vera, uh, to... But why though? Um, why why should we rest here? Why not? Well, do you want to sleep? You still have many days on the. It, it still will take many days to get through the rest of the, get through the sea of moving ice to get back to Waterdeep. Um, so, you would end up having to rest somewhere anyways. Instead of no. taking because you've already spent no. a good portion of the day. It's probably no. getting to nighttime by the time you're you're you've. Yeah. Exited the ice caves, Can I so it's something? probably a good idea to rest here. Then the morning, head off, head out, camp, I, head off, camp, I, Pelican. camp. I highly disagree. Do you want to travel at night? No, no, no. Don't you want to sleep in your bed, Kriv, with your husband? It's still gonna take some time. I yeah, like, just, just go in a circle, it, guys. Like it's, I oh, say, I, like, I know. It, Somebody has a teleport, uh, has a, a helm of teleportation or whatever it was. Yeah. I also am fine with the days going by because I am waiting for a certain amount of the days to go by before uh, certain things are available to me. I understand, but like we could be in, in town. So what? why don't you just well, say here, you have I, your helm you of also, teleportation? Well, I, I was saying, well, we could just go and... <laughs> yeah, it, 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 I think the thing is be a little more obvious on, on when you're saying these things. Um, also, Macath needs to stop in. Is it Illisk? Or uh, Macath and uh, Marflo will be going to the host tower, which I think is in Illisk, which is on the so way. We need a... uh, okay. So we need needs. It would probably yeah. be best to escort him there anyways. Yeah, then no problem. Uh, and plus, you have this entire crew of people that were with you before, so. <laughs> You're right. You just yeah. abandon them, so. Yeah, because then once we get back to Waterdeep, we'll uh, talk to the, uh, back with the eyes of Io, and then go to see Leosin mm -hmm. for our other task. Except so rest for the no. night. Yep. Oof. Because in my head, I was like, well, teleport. Like, I didn't bite for nothing. Yeah, yeah but you also <laughs> had, had come up with the crew of, like, uh, yeah. at least 41 people. So, and you had some people that you need to escort to LS, which you wouldn't be able to use your home with the for. Anyways, yeah. um, well, you could technically because it's a teleport spell, but that could cause problems. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm too bobby. Um. 
Yeah. So. Uh, Five minute break. Summarize so. is pretty much heading. You head to the left. You drop down. Uh, McCath says, uh, "As soon as I get settled in, I will report to Waterdeep and to the um, to the council." Good. Because they have questions Thank you. in regards to um, the Dracorn yep. and everything like that. Um, I believe that the Arcane Brotherhood would very much appreciate this and will join in the endeavors. So that means a Yay. lot to us for us for to be able to count on your help when time comes. How many days pass again between uh, going from the Nomads uh, village to back to Waterdeep? I would say it's to, to get back to Waterdeep. How much was it to get to it? Because we could get encounters, you know. Yeah, I'm summarizing travel. Man. That works. <laughs> you got encounters. I, defeating them, it's fine. I'm, I'm asking just because of my tracker. Because while we're tra like, even though that first night I wouldn't have anything done with my short sword, traveling to back to Waterdeep, I would have worked with my short sword. Yeah. Well. I understand, and uh, probably Shutan's is gonna like if it takes a week. Uh, Shutan is. It was only a couple. It was only a couple of days. I know that. Oh, yeah. It was. It was. It didn't take us a ten day to get there. No. But I don't remember exactly how many. No, because once. 15 more days that Kriv can work on something, and then 23 days in general pass, uh, Kriv will have his new main set of weapons that he'll be going forth with. We like that. Because <laughs> so uh, I was like, I need the days to pass. <laughs> I'm going to say that it would take about 7 days for the trip. Oh, because we're going maybe a little slower and out of our way. Okay. No, we had a, we had a, a bif bifurcation to do. <laughs> well, you also had a, a couple of days on the Sea of Movie Nights. Mm, yeah. Too. Okay. Because I had I, I had said it take it a couple of days to get to it, and then there was a few days in there. So, but because you also had to stop at Illisk to uh, drop off McCath and Murflub. Okay. So it looks a little uncomfortable. Seven days. So I'm at eight here. So seven days on the seat on the, uh, of actual traveling once we left. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You arrive uh, mid afternoon, a couple hours before dusk on the seventh day. Ooh, I have less than a ten day for my short sword. Yay! And about two ten days for my. Flail whip. Then the adventures of uh, the adventures of Crimson Cyrus. Yeah. Doodly, 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 doodly. Doodly. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. If you want to know what that was. Look what? on the playlist. <laughs> I can look on the playlist. Episode number 24, I believe it is. <laughs> um, in, so, well, first off, let's kind of like get into a relatively. There we are. Um, G fuel time. Already had two cups. <laughs> this is my second, so. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I would have it. So. You see, uh, Frederica, uh, you guys said head off to uh, the. Uh, Sanctum of Eyes, as it's referred to. Yes. Uh, to talk to them, and um, I believe you were wanting to inquire about 
Something referred to as the Dragon Bonded. Yes. I want to learn about it. Uh, you are actually referred to Herak, the ranger. Because it's like, um, I think he has some... A, a, because Sylvia's like, I'm not too familiar with him, but um, I think Herak does. It's a similar type thing, but it's not exactly. But Herak might know some something. Uh, you find Herak um, doing some target pr practice with his with his uh, nifty longbow, um, and he's like, like, oh, sister, uh, what can I do for you? Um, I'd like to learn more about uh, how to be bonded with his dragon. Hmm. Well. On Iodron, uh, there, because uh, especially on on the continent of Drac, where most of our exploits have uh, are, uh, there are some fighters who bond themselves to dragons. Uh, it, it requires the process. Uh, part of the process is they would actually have to hatch the dragon. Um, uh, so that's one of the things that would have to be done. Um, and I'm familiar with it because it's very much like uh, some of our Beastmasters that we have. But it's, it's a little bit different. It's, it's, I, I don't quite understand it. Um, hold on. Uh, uh, Lila! Lila! I know you're around here. Hey, follow me. Yeah. Uh, and he he takes you off into a more of a, a wooded area. And he looks around. And he, he just kind of like pulls out like just, he just picks a little stone up. Looks at it and is kind of like looking left, right. And then looks up into a tree. And then he just says does this flick into the tree and it's so fast uh quicker than than you probably see and it and it hits a squirrel and it, you see the squirrel yip and fall off the tree and um uh, and as it's coming down onto the ground or falling down onto the ground it transforms into a little halfling oh mm. Oh, you spotted me! Well, I am, I am a ranger. I know which squirrels are real ones. You need to make sure that your color. You need to work on your coloring when it comes to squirrels. No, it's one of the hard parts about this. I always want to be like my own little color, but but if I'm trying to hide and everything, yeah. Anyways, I think you wanted to me for something. Yes. Um, Can you take me to the bronze? The bronze? Why do you want to go there? Well, uh, I mean, take Frederica here. Um, she wants to know more about the dragon bonded. Oh, the dragon bonded. They're so cool. You should see them when they're... Uh, you, you see, it, it's really weird because like, like some of the younger races, uh, uh, they get the really young ones, but they and they only get up to like, like the, a young dragon but then they die before the dragon it gets old enough to go into an adult but then there's the ones like halflings and the the elves and such such when the when the dragons grow up into adult size it's really kind of cool none of them really can get enough that they would have an ancient dragon that they're bonded to but it's so cool here I, i'm going to take you to the bronze isle yeah um give me a second i'm just gonna whistle because I guess in the the place of Io, they are pretty free moving around. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna whistle around, wait a couple of like second, thirty minute, maximum thirty. Remember, minutes. yeah, because um, Leon and um, Baron no, or not Baron, um, Bamoon. Bamoon know about the dragons. 
Yeah. Because they met when we were at the one city, they met them and all. So they probably would have told the rest of the uh, I of IO. So they would be at least aware of their pre- like their existence. So you whistle, and then just like immediately after you whistle, this black dragon or wormling is right next to you. I've been hey. here the whole time. <laughs> so you you know where we're going? Um, I've never heard of it before. Me neither. But it's an adventure with just us and not the rest. That's you wow. and me. Wow, I've never seen an incarnum drake. Wait, wait. No, you're a black drake. No, but that if it's, I'm confused. It, I'm assuming he's a half and half. Oh, oh, okay. Anyways, shall we see the bronze dragons? Yes. She, she, she holds out her hands. He says, everybody hold hands. And oh. Leiden puts out his paws. Uh, one your, yours, one in Eric's. And Lila takes one of Eric's and one of yours. Yep. It's, all right. <clears throat> it's like this whoosh. And, it, and it's just... <clears throat> And uh, uh, you might feel a little bit disoriented uh, from the sudden change. The weather is just pretty much the same. Same, but you're instead of being uh, near the shore in a, in this like uh, uh, temperate climate, you're now on more of a little bit tropical island, probably still more high, like just above like where you would hit the tropical zone between tropical and temperate so it's a little bit warmer but not too much and you just seem to be on some sort of island um and uh on a beach and she goes this way and and you see this halfling go marching off uh, marching off uh, down the shore uh just a couple minutes and you come to a rocky area that kind of like the the end of the beach but there's this cave um cave entrance you walk through through that and it's more like it ends up being more of a tunnel and you come off onto this other side where you have this bay with like this just this like inlet uh yeah. surrounded on all sides by by walls and rocky walls and then just this little bit more of an open plane with cubby holes and you see like 20 30 maybe even 50 dragons of various size sizes uh flying around and you see people on them uh various different races none of them veldonkin um but there are dragonborns, there's humans, there's elves, there's halflings, there's goblins, there's orcs. Any race that you can, can imagine. And yeah. you see some of them sparring in, in a, a pit. A lot of these dragons are bronze dragons, but there's a few of other colors. There's some reds, blacks, whites. Those, those are half dragon. Um, all of them seem to be more pure dragon oh pure, pure of their colors so you're not seeing half dragons but you're seeing mostly bronze possibly because well they just refer to this as the bronze isle isle oh yeah make, yes makes kind of sense um and you see a, a burly man you see a burly man a uh, human and uh, um, a female is, is standing right next to her. And he seems to be instructing uh, a couple of people who are, looks like they're sparring and they both have, have, have dragons. And they're just kind of like attacking. You see one of them's a bronze dragon, one's a uh, red dragon. And you see this this one person uh, swing his sword and around the sword is this like it has this look of lightning across it as it hits and, and connects while the other one is has fire around it 
and uh, after some sparring, you see one time you see one person make a couple of attacks and his dragon is making a couple of attacks at the same time. It's just this kind of like dance between like a coordination between the dragons and this other humanoid species. And it says, Hey, Mal! Mal! And the burly man turns around and says, Oh, Lila! Oh, and Herak! I see you come, and oh, who is this blue person you bring with you? And you see you've got a lovely black dragon here. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh. Based off the wings, I th assume that there's some incarnum in there. Wow, I've never seen a half an incarnum before. Mostly they stay pure pure. Oh, well, that's very interesting. What, I'm sorry, what can I do for you? I've yeah. learned um, I've learned that uh, you, you have a certain way um, to fight with your dragons. Ah, a bond. Yeah, so, I, but, your, oh, so no, should I is, a, a special one? And as much as I want to keep him safe, I know he needs to learn what the true life is and to fend for himself. And he's an adventurous one. Ah, you would. Well, how long have you had them? Seth, it's been more than six months, right? At Please. least. Okay. Um, from birth, you had him. Yeah, from birth. I've oh, had. So, you, so you, you, so you ha helped hatch him. Oh yes. Ah, perfect. Then you've already made made steps in the process. This is known to be the dragon bond. Uh, whenever someone imprints on you, it's just working on the techniques of actually. Um, improving that bond between you two um, there's there's much that we can, we can teach you uh, however uh, the, the one says I believe that there is something in the way though excuse me but uh, do you take drugs you don't seem <laughs> <laughs> I believe I have heard of something referred to as a blood hunter. Are you one of those? Yes, indeed. One of the uh, mutant. Um, <laughs> yes, not... I, I've met a few of those. Unfortunately, it is not something that's very compatible between the two. The dragon bond just gets hindered between that of the blood hunter and that of the dragon bonded we're more of just pure fighters you might say mm. i wouldn't mind going in a severage um fortunately i guess uh, destiny was on my path when i chose my order the order of the mutants or the one that deals with um injections of supernatural powers you will need to be purified of that. Do you have any way of reversing the impact by any chance? I do have a way to flush the effects, uh, but I'd need to ask uh, for my hires up to know if there's a way to reverse them. Do you have a way to communicate that with them? Yes, of course. So oh, I will write down like the questions that I need, and just burn them. Mm -hmm. Like their bronze dragons have uh, fire breath, right? Bronze? No, they have lightning. No? My bad. Then. Well, it's, I'm just gonna burn it with a, a simple light. You, you can also find the fire. <laughs> yeah, and just throw it in there. And um, I'm gonna write. I, I'm gonna write down like. Um, in in my learning that I need to do, I need to cleanse myself from the uh, blood hunter's ways. Um, 
they endure my link with uh, my my newborn, and um, I think that may be dangerous. Uh, do you know of a way to reverse the uh, the the injections that I received? I'm gonna wait for the answer. <laughs> okay. Um. In the meantime, um, uh, Mal, as you said, just wants to see what you can do, and 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 you spar with him. Yeah, sure. And you you hear from uh, you hear from a different direction. It's like. Frederica, I need to speak with you. And you recognize the voice to being Mother Cattell. Yeah. Where and do I is is just on the She is on the shore and looking directly at you. You've also what noticed... Kind of, I'm what sorry? kind of look? What kind of look? <laughs> she looks serious. Oh. oh. Excuse me. I have to go. Shutant, can you please... Ap- um, accompany me. I have someone to show you. Shatan uh, uh, comes along with you as you approach. And the whole way that I march with Shutan, I'm like, you know those mothers that tell their like their, their children when they're going to meet someone important? Like, don't do that kind of stuff. Don't do kind of that kind of stuff. Be like that. <laughs> super stressed. Like, this is my boss. She's super important. Uh, Shatan seems to be on... She, he seeing this, she he kind of knows that he's got to put on, he's got to act like Layden. Yeah, <laughs> put on your Layden mask. <laughs> uh, it, I so mean, even Levin, even Lemon would be better than how she taunt act sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's, it's true. Any, any, anything better, but he's like he he knows based off the way sister is is acting, Layden. Not lemon, but lady. <laughs> <laughs> Best behavior. <laughs> May I serve you a cup of tea? Uh, uh, well, he, he's not being butlerish. He's just like meeting a person and being kind of like. Yeah, yeah. He, he kind of like sits up very straight. Uh, you have never seen him act like this. And I'm just relieved that he can do it. <laughs> you didn't even know he could. Yeah. <laughs> Gatell then kind of bows her head and <sighs> since you have acquired Shutant here, I was afraid that this might happen. However, I have a deal to strike with you. Because in order to proceed, you will no longer be part of the none of your business order. (laughs) I'm sorry! (laughs) She is... Okay, despite the fact that anybody else is reacting to this, Gatel is very, very s- serious. Oh, it's okay. Um, she doesn't understand puns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like tra- just listening all intently and then just you will no longer be part of the none, none of your business, of your business order. order. I was not the one who <laughs> totally forgot this. about that. It was my totally name. It's perfect, guys. Yes, it is. It's great. Oh. No, just some of the stuff from like the first can't like the first module. I forgot about. I forgot <laughs> that his thing was called none of your business. Because <laughs> we haven't talked about it in like over a month. <laughs> yes. I I will be assisting you. I will be able to assist you in cleansing you. But it will take everything the way that you probably have remembered. You will still remain the capable fighter that you that you are. But some of the things will be taken away. Um, however, 
I will have plenty of contracts, and I am going to keep you in mind. So, while you will not actually be part of it, we may contract with you. So, the one thing that we'll probably still keep around is... The, the feature. The feature, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's it. She snaps her fingers, and you see, see uh, coming out of nowhere, uh, about uh, four other of your sisters, or soon to be former sisters. Are says, they all Vidalkin? Uh, no. There's actually a Loxodon. Very weird. But they're Ravnica races. <laughs> Oh, I oh they're I not, I know. Not the same. I know. The races. Is there a simic hybrid there? Of course there is. Yes, <laughs> of course. Mutant and acid. Yeah. Uh, in any case, so there, there's a bunch of them. Um, there's just four of them, all different uh, different race, and and she she says, uh, let. Let us see about finding an appropriate place. Uh, I do not want to in interfere with them. Um, she's able to find Mal, and and she greets him. Uh, says, "One moment, Mal." Uh, and says, "Ah, Gatel, I didn't know that you were going to be here." Gatel apparently knows this. Everybody in the multiverse. <laughs> Is there a? There is a ritual in order to to assist Frederica with her things. She will no longer be a sister of our order. Oh, that seems to be kind of a downside to that. But uh, at least, at least it's you can help her with with what her path should be. Uh, there is a great ritual site about um, a mile down the the shore here. I, I can definitely lead you to that. Um, actually, we could get some of our riders to be able to, to take you. Um, Malia here will be able to take a couple of you as well. Um, and uh, Malia, the, the lady that was next to her, uh, turns into an ancient dragon. Brass dragon. <laughs> And oh. she she kind of gets down. Come aboard. And uh, they, they get a couple others to make sure everybody has stuff. And apparently, you could tell, and they and everybody that she brought uh, has the appropriate ritual components needed. And they fly you to a a nice clearing, a sandy uh, clearing, near the beach, but just off of it. Um, and they perform a ritual. They have you stay in the middle. They have five around, around you. They do, do a summons and they put out their hand and they looks like they're kind of like drawing something and you see this red magic uh, come out. It looks like blood, but you can tell that they're not actually pulling out blood. It just looks like blood. Yeah, it looks like a blood. Energy. But it seems to be draining, and you feel kind of woozy about this. And um, Chitant is is off watching the, watching this, and he's looking kind of strange. But uh, Mel is next to him, still in her dragon form, and kind of like says, "It's all right. She's not being hurt." And uh, make a constitution save. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it feels very draining this this exercise, and you it stops all of a sudden. You actually have been lifted up just like a foot off the ground as part of this process, and you just suddenly drop, and uh, it is exhausting. I can th I can think so. I, I need a nap. I'm taking a nap right here. <laughs> and, and, uh, sorry, my ADD is being a bitch. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, and then you kind of throw up. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I do the first lock. 
Frederica, you are no longer a sister of the Order. Uh, sister, don't cry. You uh, no longer have... Uh, she takes uh, all your appropriate uh, order attire. Yep. Uh, and she, she, I believe she gave you a medallion, did I say it was? Yep. Or something for returning? Yep. She says, keep that in case we need you. As I said, if I need anything that might require contracts for, some, in this case, a dragon bonded. Then, we will call upon you. Obviously, I would message you first to see if you're available. Just as any co contract would be, and we would definitely be paying you for any of the services you provide. Thank you for everything, Mother Cotel. Just remember, and you are no longer Sister Federica. You are just Federica. Ah, oh, that's going to get annoying to remember. Yeah. Because I will make so you remember it. Just got so used to calling you sister. <laughs> Maybe you could say your family and she's your sister. <laughs> sister, my Isn't sister. Isn't that what a D&D &D party becomes? Becomes families. Yeah, it becomes. Who knows if we're there yet or not. Uh, so she takes her title and everything. She says, I believe this is a good path for you. You and Chetant were made for each other. Trust me. She was made. Trust me. They were made for each other. And she uh, starts uh, walking. Shade. Walking I, knew, I knew she couldn't. Um, Mother Gotel. Or should I say just sim simply Gotel? No, I, I'm still Mother Gotel. Um, yes, <laughs> Her title didn't go away. <laughs> I, I would still like you to um, properly meet and speak with Shutant. See how um, of a great one he's going to be. Uh, Shutant says, I already met her. And Gatel smiles. He is an interesting boy. I'm just going to look at, at Shutant with that kind of look, like, what the fuck have you done? He, he kind of bows his head a little. <laughs> He's like... Mm. Oh, look at this rock. <laughs> this is an interesting <laughs> rock. <laughs> nice rock I got there, right? <laughs> uh, as you say that, Shutant turns up to, to, to Malia and, and says, Are there any Incarnum dragons around? No, sadly, not around here. They're down. They're down in entirely different place, very far from here. You probably get tired just being such a little one trying to fly there. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I would get tired. No, trust me. Have you have you had to travel five thousand miles to get to some place by just by air? Oh, that seems far. <laughs> I there are actually my very few of them, so it's also the hard thing is finding them. As you probably know, they have the ability to turn invisible. I just wanna, I just wanna say, I, I changed my name for from Sister Frederica to Mother Frederica, since I'm taking my full. You're my a full, mommy. Since I'm taking my full job as a mom. <laughs> I'm not calling you mother. I'll Anyways. call you. I'll call you Fred. Mother. <laughs> uh, and uh, you go back to, to camp and uh, it, when you go back to to, to the Dragon Bonded camp uh, and you do some sparring and Mel is <sighs> Mel is noticing it's like huh you seem to already be on the way for this. You're very talented at this. Let me show you a few things. And he goes on and um, uh, he and Malia. It's very strange because you have this human looking, 
big burly human looking man who seems to be bonded with an ancient dragon. Uh huh. He's a he's a man's man. Didn't, man. didn't didn't you say that like they normally don't bond with ancient dragons? Yeah, because they would usually outlive them. Or or the, the dragon would out, outlive a human. Oh, so you got a blessing of never dying of old age. Oh, yes. Uh, being one of the first dragon bonded, I got a blessing from Io. Makes sense. As long as she is around, so am I. Hope you live long. Well, it has been <laughs> 1,500 years. And my eyes are just going to go like big balls. Like, oh shit. Nani? Nani. And, and don't get me wrong, I've let. There have been many of her brood who has found dragon bonded. Obviously, I made sure I stayed away from that because, you know, she and her husband. Not something that I want to see. <laughs> Because you have a husband. Cyrus, look at your phone. I will Sorry. look at my phone. Um, he te they teach you some techniques and uh, working with Chitant, um, they start teaching him a few things. Uh, let's see. You're going to be level nine, right? Yeah. So next level he's going to get. Get the thing. Okay. Yeah. And Julie. You Do the become, thing. You become a uh, fighter. Yeah, it's not a blood right. hunter, and uh, with the subclass of dragon modded. Yay! And it's gonna be really nice. Bum ba da bum ba bum ba da. Boo boo dee boo. I mean, there's a reason why I said new class who dis. What? Yeah. Because I may not be. Well, for multiple reasons. Someone yeah. else is taking a new class. Not a new subclass, but a new class. Yeah. So, multiple reasons. Alright, so... Did we level up? See, I'm, I'll multi-class into Sorcerer, and then everyone can be multi-class. Well, there's Gizli and Zindralov. Yeah. Well, well thank you. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Multi-class, too. Zendelov can multiclass can multiclass one level in Druid just to take um, Goodberry. <laughs> the forty HP You're level obsessed one. with Goodberry. But Goodberry is the forty HP healing one level spell. It's like just chug one. No, no, no. Get uh, Goodberry is one hit point. You would have yeah. to eat like forty of them in order to get. 40. Yeah, but he's a life cleric. So each good berry heals for four. No, each good berry would heal for one because you eat a berry. The spell is to create the berry. The berry only heals for one. Okay. <laughs> also, Zen could get reincarnate. Yeah. Well, a uh, high enough level. Later on. Yeah. I don't know. Does that... Hmm. That's a thought. But no. But why would he need reincarnate if he has has raised dead? Yeah. Uh actually components are less uh cost less than it does for raised dead. He's already got five thousand gold. Cool. Speaking of which, that is always prepared for him. Plus it gives flavor to things. Of course he's going to take that spell. And you all level up. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Level 10! No, a level 9. No, 9. <laughs> I tried my best, okay? It was a nice try, okay? <laughs> Alright, this is for Gizli. Son of a... That's good. 
Uh, I will allow allow Gizly to take a six. Okay. Because he's been low. Give him a six. (laughs) (laughs) He needs it. No, honestly, never roll again for Gizly. Just the coverage. He needs it. (laughs) No, 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 no. He was having a bad time when he was rolling. (laughs) Yeah. So that's going to be eight. That's going to be 15 total. All right. Oh, um... Oh, that's not bad. For the the character sheet that I need to do, do I choose any uh, subclass, or uh, do you have a preference? What do you mean? For Jatana? Yeah. Uh, Thief. Thief? Okay, good. Because I was going scat. I, I'm, I am going to call on that one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that's okay. That's totally okay. okay. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Crave, you already rolled yours. It was an 11. I can take that one? Yes. <laughs> Yay! So that's 90. Rolling for health? Yes. Nice. Yeah. D12, get 11 out of 12. I like. I, I just seen what it felt like to. D6. <laughs> <laughs> I roll a D12 now. It went up uh, from a D10 to a D12. Yeah. I, I, I would say that you could take the average, uh, uh, Cyrus, but that would just be a four. <laughs> I mean, it's four. <laughs> <laughs> you could take the average if you want to. <laughs> it's like. Uh, yes! Not much of a difference. One point of health is relevant. Uh, I, I will I will say say this. If you roll below the average, you could you could get the choice. If you roll above the average, well I don't think you would even even take the choice. <laughs> That's a nice health pool. Now, Chris can properly rage. Uh, and just my armor awakens. But um, mm. um, wind. Yeah. The thief is in the isn't the thief the one that goes with uh, like ignoring, um, like uh, requisites for magic items and such. I don't know, but he's a thief. Okay, yeah, it, it totally works with him. <laughs> like, I was uh, the, the one yeah, I was. It's, uh, it's I. I don't. Or, the only thing I know is he's a thief. <laughs> yeah, he's a thief. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I didn't even look at any of the subclasses for him. I just I, I, like he's a thief. <laughs> I was checking for the scout because he's uh, he likes to be nimble, but the thief works too. No, he. No, he wants to steal things. Yeah, that too. But like everybody wants to steal. He's things. very much more. A, I mean, he can scout, but he, I don't think that's really his thing. Yeah, no, that's okay. All right. He'd so rather sneak into places and steal things. I like his uh, second story work. It's like he would he's flying. Cuz he gets a climb speed. And you know what is great? Now, if I fail the charisma saving throw, I can reroll it once. Question for the original horde: It says seven two hundred fifty. So it's seven pieces of art objects that are each worth two fifty. Yeah, each one is worth two fifty. Okay. And 
And so it's just one... by leveling up and having access to fifth level spells, I learned four fifth level spells just from my spell books. Nice. It's great. And then I have more stuff. Uh, sadly, uh, Cyrus is the one that takes the longest because he has to deal with so many spells. Yes. Yeah. How um, dare you! <laughs> oh, and um, if you go on uh, uh, roll twenty, uh, I've put it up um, a a a photo for him. Because you know, and it's um five gold or five silver pieces for one electrium piece. Electrum. Yeah. Six. Five silver. Yeah. Electrum. One electrum. <laughs> Is that blue? I I know, right? It's blue, and yet. Well, well, well. This person looks, uh, I, uh, anime Asian. Yeah. <laughs> Which is essentially white. All right. Yeah, but. Like, because of the blue, the blue filter, it works. And th what I liked is the uh, the the array of color that matches his uh, his wings for the hair. Mm -hmm. That's why I thought it was. You nice. guys did the did the rest of you see that in roll twenty when, when I hit no. hundred players? No. Uh, I don't see anything. It's an anime person. Oh, hey, there it is. Look up... It was underneath my. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Oh, it was underneath my bag of holding uh, pop-up window. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, because I'm guessing we're gonna take some time to do some stuff in the store. So then I'm trying to get what everyone would get from the the whole. We're just calculating stuff, and then we can yes. uh, uh, do a little showing off of stuff. All right. So I guess I'm gonna take a five. Uh, yeah. Why don't we go ahead and take five right now? We'll be right back. Uh, this way, everybody can do their shit, and I can refill my beverage. Be right back. Uh, actually, I'm going to do something quickly here. Hey, did you know that uh, it was Cubs Out Loud's uh, 13th anniversary this week? That's awesome. Oh, wow. I'm going to play a little bit of the start of that show. In this episode of Cubs Out Loud, the Cubs celebrate the show's 13th anniversary. About 13 years ago, a cub named Jeff got some friends together and started this whole shenanigan. 13 years later, the show's still trucking. Listen in as the guys reminisce on the show's history and their own grow-ups over the past 13 years. Look back and look forward as COL 587 starts now. Sunday, January 24th, 2021. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. Hey, welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bear Podcast with Determine the Length, episode number 587. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby oh, who are these babies <laughs> my feet hasn't caught up yet it's still on the delay oh my oh there we go I had to refresh I got it to show um, although now it's got top shot damn it I hate that anyway go back to live yeah, shot thank so... you <laughs> yes <laughs> Go so, ahead. <laughs> here's the thing. For all those people <laughs> who are listening to the podcast, you should pop over to the video. 
<laughs> just for a second. Just, just to catch this little part. Yeah. I mean, for for those of Patreon, you have to like fast forward about thirty minutes. But mm-hmm. yeah, so you have <laughs> this, and you have this. Hi. You have this baby cubs, <laughs> and you have this daddy cubs. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 <laughs> No gray, honey. <laughs> <laughs> what did he no say? Gray. Black don't crack. Some of us <laughs> are plucking every hair as it appears. So, uh, honey, oh, where did that say come from? <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say. It. <laughs> no gray, no plucking of gray. Let's just get that story straight. Um, <laughs> So for those of you that are kind of unsure or curious or wondering what this is about, uh, happy 13th, because 13 years ago, uh, a cub had a silly little idea and decided to start a podcast. Yeah. Um, This is, this is, this is. What are you doing, (laughs) Jeff? Oh no. What are you doing? What? What what are you doing? I don't know, but your screen share is all messed up. Like, whatever you're doing is covering half of things, so. It's all right. Uh, nope. I mean, it's supposed to only be showing the, 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 the app, but apparently not. No, it, it does show the app. What it doesn't show is whatever you put over top of. So if you have a window that's overlapping. Yeah, I know. I I just think it should be showing the app in any case. Starting. Wait a second. Wait for it. Everybody, welcome to Cubs Out Loud, the rare podcast of indeterminate length. It is Thursday, January 17th, 2008. I'm Jeff. I'm, I'm Jim. Jim. <laughs> wait, wait, let me go first. Okay, back. This is... Uh... I said hello wind, but my mic was muted. Yeah. I, I I deafened because I had uh, but I was playing the uh, first five minutes of last episode of Cubs Out Loud. Oh, nice! And and, and right as I, I turned that off was right when uh, we were starting to play the first part of the very first episode of Cubs Out Loud <laughs> from 2008 oh wow that's like that's crazy 13 years ago No, that's not the screen one. This is the screen one. Technically, we're back. Technically. Technically. So I moved from the, from the BRB, but from the still way. And I don't know about Frederica. I can't say sister anymore. Yes, I'm back. That's, 
that's so it's weird not her not being sister anymore well she's no longer part of the order dun 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 i mean it's not a bad thing she she still has contacts Mother Gattel seems it seems to still keep her in mind. She's not part of the order, but she's associated. All right, I'm back. I, I there was no way for me to share the audio that I was playing of the first or, or the uh, the episode of comes out the last episode of comes out loud, which I was playing during the break. When this, just we can get a chance to uh, watch the uh, session. So or, when it goes or, to, or you could watch the episode of Cups Out Loud. That too. Same, same YouTube channel. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Cups Out Loud. I'm yeah. guessing that these uh, um, these adventures take like a day. Yeah. Uh, I think Frederica's probably took uh, a couple of days. I keep speaking and I'm muted. I'm gonna kick myself. <laughs> well, why okay. did you do that? I, well, was, I, was was... Saying, I was saying, you know, you can just go and all watch it together on the watch together. <laughs> huh. uh, besides, um... Paris. Mm -hmm. Are you in my clan of, like, Cold poutine is good. Cold poutine is pretty good. Good, thank you. Just wanted I, to make sure. I, don't I know. mean, I've like, never it's had real poutine. One day, one day. I, I feel very sad about that. Okay, okay. I'm, so, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get stoned for one. I'm gonna say, but yes, real poutine exists. Yes, real poutine is good, but poutine is so much more than just like crumbled cheese, fries, and like poutine sauce. You mean gravy? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say gravy because it's not any kind of gravy. Like you wouldn't put the same sauce, uh, like the the same gravy in a poutine that you use for the uh, a hot chicken. It's not the same. I mean, I would, and it would be delicious. So yeah, yeah but not for the authentic one. At the same time, you can put like a. a I am uh, a Canadian making poutine. It's authentic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like the okay. best poutine I've ever ate was made with um, uh, pepper sauce because you know pepper sauce. If uh, anything, that's not that's authentic. authentic. What the fuck is that monstrosity? It's good. That's what it is. <laughs> it sounds delicious. Yeah, with uh, with some uh, pulled pork on top. Because, you know, you can yeah. put any, any topping on your poutine. It's still going to be good. Yes, two days. Okay. I'm only marking one down for the short stored since mm. one of those days I was busy. Okay. And I, I wouldn't have not spent the time on it. In. So. Okay. So close. To them. So close. But what are you making? Hmm? What are you making? Um, I'm making a lightning short sword. Um, and then it's my um, back of letter ter uh, better terms flail whip. Um, you remember it, have you seen Castlevania? Yep. No, not the show. The, mor games. Um, the Morning Star. Yeah, whip. Okay. That uh, Trevor Belmont used. It's that. Nice. Oh, cool. Uh, but dragony. Uh, the head. The head is going to be a, is a dragon skull, like shaped like a dragon skull. It's metal, but it's shaped like a dragon skull. And it will do. I will be able to put my bulwark on it, and the enchantment that I have on it will do radiant damage. So plus my bulwark it will do. It will do radiant and fire damage. Oh, that's really cool. That's nice. That's um, why it cost me so much to do this. <laughs> so I will spend like six k on it. 
I will go see Kriv. Uh, Kriv, if he's wearing his armor, the armor looks a little more shinier, a little more adornment to it. Uh, it seems I just, that it has been awakened. You're okay, right. so I will say that, um, sure, you know, Cyrus didn't get a fancy new subclass like everyone else did, but he did learn, like, f uh, eight new spells, so that's, that's fun. That's a lot. Yeah. I, get, I think I'll be training with uh, Krebus and um, Rook. Rook. Is that his? Rook. Rook. Yeah, I'll be... I'll be training with them since I am now an official Polarian. I will have to go and um, and um, see Kriv to see if he has a spare heavy armor. Otherwise, the one I have is still great. I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, I don't have a spare one, but actually, it'd be a probably it'll take a lot less. Well, do I? Yeah, no, because I sold my original one when I got the battle plate. No problem. Um, yeah, it, it's like, I was supposed to say, it's like, I can make you a decent one, but it's going to take a lot longer than for you just to go buy one. Um, yeah. With that being said, everyone gets 2,613 gold pieces. Oh, can you write it down? Yeah. 2,000 something. Two thousand six hundred and what? Uh, thirteen uh, gold pieces. It's in the chat. And mm -hmm. one thousand seven hundred and eighty-four uh, silver pieces. And that is having us uh, with a little bit of leftovers. Um, I'm pretty much having it. If there's leftovers, it's just staying in. Like, have a little emergency yeah. fund. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. I'm, I'm going to ask. Uh, Kriv, if he could be able to um, to make a special dagger in the future. Yeah, just tell me what you want and um, I'll let you know how much it would cost. Well, for now, we don't have the materials, but I'm pretty sure they're going to come to us pretty fast trying to well, buy the Um, I do have a bunch of material, base material, so for enchantment and smithing, because I spent 4k when we did all that shopping. I spent 4k just getting base materials, but that would be needed for enchanting and um, smithing. So, um, it all depends on what you want. Um, I want a five dragon uh, dagger. What do you mean, five dragon dagger? A dragon boosted with powers of the five colored dragon that could bypass their said resistance in attacking the other kind. You know what I mean? Girl, that sounds expensive. That's heavy. And yeah. yeah, that's like that's some a... major shit. Yeah, I know. That's very rare to legendary. That's that... why I said we don't have it right now. <laughs> Yeah, that because I don't know what's going on. With it. Um, just let me look at this. I do. Or well, like a dagger that does um, like a bit of every of their damage kind. Why it's is still dagger specifically? There's reasons. Um. um because I think daggers oh, are I... seal and okay. yeah, and daggers are they can be shaped with either a fang or a claw. So, um, that's still going to put it up to rare, very rare. Yeah. Um, which depending on where you're at, you would have the stuff for very rare because very rare would cost five five thousand gold pieces, but that would take what is that by the way Cinder Love is yeah. instructed by Sylvia about throwing a dagger nice. um 
Yay! They draw off doing things. <laughs> Any anything above uncommon will take a long time for me to make, like straight through. Um, rare a rare item would like I know I would have Layden's help at one point, but a a rare item would take two hundred days of work. Um, and a very rare would take 2,000 days of work, wow. eight, hour, eight hour days to make. Okay. So. And then there's the. Uh, hmm. Yeah, the very rare, or the very rare is 500k, or 50k gold pieces. It pretty much goes up by a factor of 10. As you go up, mm -hmm. legendary is five five hundred k, and then another like the dagger yeah. that Zinderlov uh, 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 has been uh, throwing at a target. Uh, he seems to be stopping his his little training, and he he kind of looks at it and turns into a key. And he puts it in his pocket. <laughs> nice. Ooh, Zidralov, what you got there? We have no idea. Oh, no, you know what this is. Yeah. It's, um, the Elfin Trader's key. But, um, yeah, um, when it comes to... When it gets to the point that I can have Layden's help, it will progress how fast I'm able to do things. But until then, even right now, you might be able to, because I'm not sure how much money you spent last time, you probably can have someone fashion you with the dagger in a faster time. Because mm. I was able to do my, whip the Dragon Star done in three, ten days, compared to the 200 days it would take me to craft it like I could have, but it was going to take 200 days so uh, for me to do it when I had the free time to do it. You see a gnome come up to Frederica, and, and it's like, hmm. what's your measurements? And he pulls out a tape measure. She's plumpy. She has hips. Oh yeah, you can also ask Court her armor. Yeah. Hey. It, 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 just, just do the T. Okay, good. I'm gonna T pose. <laughs> it, it, you, you T pose, and and he starts like, like, with the tape measure, doing around. So he's like, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, yep. Lifter, and, and um, the Warforge comes up and uh, uh, puts out his hands, and and Court stands on them, and, and he just kind of lifts them up to to get to your shoulders and and everything. <laughs> and, he, and he makes measurements. And he says, "All right, like lifter puts puts back down. All right, what what type of? Uh, it seems I've heard that you are now a dragon bonded, which is more of like a fighter thing. So you probably could upgrade on what type of armor that you have, because the scale armor. Which don't get me wrong, that armor is very magical and can awaken etc etc etc. But if you need anything that's more like plate or something a little bit heavier, I could definitely." Uh, uh, we do have a selection that is available uh, right now. Not anything to the level of this, but of what you're currently wearing. But I can definitely find you something. Is there anything specific that you would be interested in? Um, Mithril, for sure. Mm, um, honestly, I don't oh, know my. much about heavy armors. So I wouldn't be able to tell you anything about uh, what I would like. I can help him. I I'll go up to um, Jordan is Quartz. being yeah, Jordan is being normal. Like he doesn't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, since he since you're with me, um, I would go. Um, you probably best a mithril set of plate armor. Would uh, at, oh yeah, yeah that's no problem. It's just, it, it, the the mithril part of it is going to be super, super easy. Uh, but I'm sure you want a little bit extra. Yeah. Um, 
something fancy, something schnazzy. Hmm. What? Court. Court. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you'd be interested in but I have some dragon scales if you would like. White dragon scales. And hide. Well, for the plate armor, it, the hide won't be as great. But oh. maybe we want to incorporate the dragon scales into the plate armor. Hmm. Start. I try like literally just starts to be like me and quartz or start talking like Kriven quartz or start talking and like rattling off stuff because for both of them being smiths. Says, uh, he, he, he's uh, just talking to me and says, I have a brilliant idea. Now, if we're looking like scale mail sort of armor, or are we thinking something a little bit heavier? Thinking heavier, probably plate. Hmm. I'm probably not going to wear it right now. I was just asking because I want to know how it feels to fight in the plates for a Yeah. But... It's going to take you a moment to get used to the weight of it, but. Because this You'll one, come that I, yeah, this one that I have is pretty, pretty, pretty nifty. So. All right, all right, follow me, and he, he, yeah, it takes you back to the armory uh, area, and he, and there's like this series of doors that's all along it, and uh, one of them, one of them says leather, one says hide, one says scale, one says plate. Yeah, uh, one says half plate. You know, basically, there's a door for each type of armor. And he goes up to the plate one, he opens the door, and there's this, like, walk-in closet just full of different suits of armor. Damn. Oh, that's cool. Um, d d Beyond has a uh, game log where if stuff is rolled in... d, &D um, Beyond. Roll 20, even, because it shows all of Zen's rolls just now. For the dagger. Uh, that's because I rolled them on D and D Beyond. Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. But yeah, I can see him on there. Neat. Okay. Son of a gun! Oh, he, he's he's walking through, and he he, he says, uh, "That's an armor of gleaming. This is uh, cast off uh, armor. Only a few people can wear those." Uh, this is just regular plate that's smoldering armor. We've got an adamantine and adamant mantine. Uh, we've got the mariner's plate. We've got a um, uh, standard mithril plate here. We've got uh, armor of uh, acid resistance, cold resistance, fire resistance, force resistance, lightning resistance, necrotic resistance, poison resistance. Uh, second, he's like pointing out each one of these as he's uh, uh, saying each one. This is a little buffed up. Uh, for for plate armor. Uh, this one's an interesting one. This is a museum armor. Museum? Mm -hmm. We got uh, some molten bronze skin. It's like... It looks like the adamantine one, but like more flexible. Or sturdy. See, Justin knows what museum armor is, and Justin likes it. He thinks it's cool. Yeah, museums are armors are cool. Um, yeah, a museum armor could be could be useful. But for now, I'm keeping this one. I just wanted to know how it felt to fight in in the heavy one. Here, what? here, try the museum armor on. I think this should fit. The best way to feel how it's it works in armor. Magic. See, it's also considered magical, so it's, it, it seems to magically adjust to your size. <laughs> yeah, it's magical. Uh, so the I'm best gonna... way to get used to some armor is to wear it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it to see how it feels. Not gonna not attune to the armor, even though I don't, I'm not gonna wear it for now. You know what? You seem more protective just by wearing it, and uh... and, and not by AC means. So, uh, plates are... Basically, basically what I'm seeing here is museum armor does not require attunement. 
No, exactly. Nice. These are my great. Any critical hit against you becomes a normal hit. In addition, when you subject, you are subjected to a magical effect that allows you to make a strength or constitution saving throw to take half damage. You instead take no damage if you succeed on the saving throw. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. But, that is um, some schnazzy armor. Um, how much? That's a dwarven plate, but I'm not sure if you really want to use that one. Okay. What does a dwarven plate man does? As long as I don't get a beard, I should be fine. Uh, while you're wearing this armor, you gain plus two bonus to HC. In addition, if an effect uh, moves you against your will along the ground, you can use your reaction to reduce the distance you move by ten feet. That's still great. <laughs> and that's about the last armor that you have. I was going to keep uh, going, but then I realized, oh, wait a minute, I'm starting to go into very rare. He doesn't quite have those. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't, you don't happen to have, like, armor of resistance plus one. Like, what resistance Just... are you looking for? I think anything beside cold and fire would do. I mean, I got armor of massive resistance, armor of cold resistance, armor of fire resistance, armor of force resistance, armor of lightning resistance, armor of poison, resistance. Poison, poison resist resistance. Yeah, I got, I got that. I, I mean, name your, name your, for no pun intended, poison. I mean, uh, I, I have one of each type of, of resistance. Yeah, but do you have a armor of resistance plus one? What about? Do I you mean, have any fancy that, wizard? That would take a little bit of time time to do to to kind of bump it. But wait a minute, hold on. No, it doesn't have plus one. There. No, it's basically a plus one. Since it's rare, it's probably gonna go to a very rare. Very rare. Then it would be a plus one. Plus one with resistance, or yeah, that would take some time to upgrade there. Which would basically be the time, the time that it would take to make a rare item subtracted from the time that it would take to make a very rare item would be the time to upgrade. Okay. Well, I'm going to think, and um, you do weapons, right? Mm -hmm. If I have an idea for a, um, a dagger... Uh, made from claws or fangs of different kind of dragons to use and deter the other powers of other dragons. Do you think a great gnome would have the uh, talent to do such a thing? And we can hear the crickets. I mean, we did find this dragon tooth dagger. Dragon tooth dagger? Yeah. He, he goes down, he, he exits the plate armor chamber and he, he goes down the hall and uh, on the other side of the hall, it's all these like different types of weapons and he finds the dagger door and he opens that long hall full of daggers. It's just a plethora of dagger, different daggers there and all different shapes and sizes. And he goes down and he, he comes to this one which looks like, the, it looks like it's a tooth of a dragon. But it, in the, the handle is like leather wrapped around leather wrapped around the root of the tooth there's no cross guard to it ooh that's pretty oh that that could be good do you think um do you know what what kind of dragon this this fang was made from black one and i'm just going to take out the like a tooth of the white one like the adult one would you be able to like either make an exact one but with this 
this white one or like mix them together? Nah, probably could. You probably put the put these two together. Uh, let's see. Well, I wouldn't be able to put them two together, but I think I would be able to basically create what's like this, except with that, which I would have to do a little magic in order to get it um, uh, attuned quite right. But it, not, not like required attunement, but attuned to, to, to make sure that it magically does it. Because you see, this one does... Uh, does uh, acid damage in addition to to its piercing damage. Oh. So what I'm assuming you would want for for here is is one that would do cold damage, because it, because it's from a white dragon. We could easily, you know, it's different than like just taking something and making it so that it could do cold damage, like just a, a dagger that could do do cold damage instead. Because we're using a white dragon tooth. We could probably make it so that's similar to that. It, it does still take some. It will take take some time to do, but I can definitely do that. Okay. I would I would say that would take a half half the time of a rare item. That's good with me. I'm probably gonna bring you other dragon tools for the same purposes. Get a collection where it's kind of like all these different. All these different daggers. And, yeah, and at the end. Depending on how you made them, it may become like you know those um, medieval lands that are like uh, like a cone. Yeah. No, but like it's just tiny because it's the size of a like of a uh, of a dagger, but like it's all all five of them. <laughs> mm. I didn't think it would work that well. Nah. Because I feel like at that point... Own dragger, it's fine. Because I feel like it would be along the lines of... A legendary item, yes. Well, no, 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 no. Like, it wouldn't do more damage. It would more so be, like, the damage would be split among the five different damage types. Well, it could be, like... It does one damage of each type. <laughs> yeah, but it wouldn't be like... I, I think it would be better just having separate daggers. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, how much for the dagger? I don't know. How would I know? <laughs> well, you have all the books memorized. Yeah, yes, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not touching your what like what your thing is doing. It's a rare one. It's five to two thousand five. What book are you? Is that from though? Xanathar. Xanathar. So that's what it is. He's looking at the DMG. Oh, exactly. Well, that's why. So it'd probably take about because you already have the dragon's tooth. It would he th he thinks it's just about like crafting it into a dagger and then just making sure that the magic's enough to to allow the it to do the cold damage because it's still because it's from a, a white dragon. It would have that cold to it. Just about dealing that damage. Uh, so I would say it would probably take him take him about five work weeks, with uh, and probably only be about a thousand gold to 
Sold. Pieces of additional materials. Sold. I'm gonna take out the the the, the, the thousand right now and we can start on the project. Right. So five work weeks. If if by any chance you're able to um, muster um, enough or muster like green dragon, red dragon, blue dragon fangs. Um, yeah, strangely enough, we don't have any of those in stock. I know, but if you if you see them in uh, in a, a market while we're gone, uh, buy them. Buy one for me if you can make it uh, into a dagger. I'll repay you. Uh, yeah, we'll call. see what we can do. I mean, unfortunately, we we really don't see those very often. Yeah, I doubt you'd see it, but you know, if I'd rather say if than not. <laughs> Um, Quartz, I have a quick question. Mm. Do you by chance have two platinum rings? They just need to be about worth 50 gold each. Mm, no, don't have any of that right now. Okay. You I'll go to market have, then. You wouldn't happen to have a glamoured studded letter, right? Lambert said letter? Oh, yeah, we have a couple of those. I'd take one. Okay. I have a feeling I know who it's. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't have plain rings. <laughs> Magical stuff galore. Just no plain <laughs> ring. No, yeah, no normal well, you, ring. You asked for a platinum ring. Yeah. Two yeah, platinum rings. Platinum. Yeah, yeah, two platinum rings, but. The... <laughs> Yes, but a couple of well, yes, magical, magical items. Like magical yep. dragon tooth daggers. Yeah, some sil <laughs> yeah. I have some silver rings. I have some gold rings. But they're uh, both already enchanted. They're all already enchanted. I just don't have anything to platinum. Criff, Criff, Criff. Take those what? platinum coins and melt them. Do we don't have any platinum coins. I do. I can go to market and buy some. It's fine. But I have, I have platinum coins. Just... Yeah, save them. <laughs> you can e you could easily find find at a local jeweler uh, uh, two platinum rings uh, <laughs> for about fifty gold. <laughs> and they're they're fifty gold because each there's there's probably at least about uh, uh, probably one and a half platinum versus uh, of actual platinum in there. Um, and actually it's probably even less than that but then there's work of spell dating crafting to make sure but it's 50 for the pair for a pair so there's a 25 25 gold pieces each but they're still worth 50 each right i'm just getting a discount because they have to be worth at least 50 gold pieces each. oh okay yeah you you could find some that were probably crafted to be that specific amount if you're looking for them Okay. Yeah, yeah this so you is for would, a specific would, thing. <laughs> then it would be 50 gold pieces each. So those are more yeah. fancy. Yeah. Is this for a specific thing? So it's like it, this, the requirement. And, yeah, um, you know, it's to help someone out when we go into battle. Whoever uh, the demon needs it. Um, and I know. Layden said he needed some extra equipment. Um, yeah, um, tanning material. Um, or, or uh, just it's it's easy. It's just like uh, uh, tanning lotion or whatever it's called for leather working. Um, and uh, but because they're dragons, there's like specific other additives that he needs. It's not expensive stuff, and it's easy to find, especially if you go to like a a, a leather leather worker shop or or some place that just sells trade goods. Um, I would know exactly where I need to go uh, since we're in water deep. Yeah, I would say it's it's not expensive. Uh, you could probably get uh, more than enough for laden 
um, just enough would probably be about uh, two gold. Um, if you want to get extra, you know, it's just like yeah. whatever, however, however much of gold you want to spend on it, but minimum of two gold. Ten what gold. Laden's looking for so. We'll do ten gold worth. Yeah, so about five. That would be about five times the the amount they. Yeah. Would. That way you're stocked up. Yeah. Better have more than enough than not. Mm -hmm. Um. Would the Mister Crafty dude, because names escape me, would he have Horse. any fancy wizard clothes? Yeah, I think I probably could find... Yeah, we have some, like, regular clothes here. No, not regular clothes. Like, fancy enchanted wizard clothes. Oh, like, some sort of robes or something like that. Clothes of mending. Robes of the Archmage. Like, sort of stuff like that. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't have anything to that. But I did. I do have, like, the... the he pulls... Pulls... Uh, went out... Out, it's very elegant looking. Looks like it's made some fine cloth and hues of like red, orange, and gold. <gasps> Ooh, what's the hat? This is a robe of the summer. What does it do? Well, it gives you resistance to cold death. In addition, you're comfortable uh, as if the temperature was that of a balmy day. Really? Yeah, so you suffer no ill effects from weather temperatures in the extremes. So if it's too hot, no problem for you. Too cold, no problem for you. I mean, I already kind of am like that. At least for the cold stuff. Too dry, no problem for you. Too wet, no, you stay dry. Do you have anything else? <laughs> a robe of serpents. He 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 uh, uh, says, "Well, I got I got this little robe, and it's a robe which is adorned with eye-like patterns." Oh wow! Yes, it's so good. What is it? Well, when you roll, wear this. You Let's see, see in all directions. Thing. But you see oh, it's the... and it's a real. Yeah. Also, also, if you have dark vision, you can see up farther. I know. Mother Cartel used to wear those when she passed in the halls. No way to escape. What? Is, what's the robe called? Robe of eyes. Robe of eyes. Well, so um... Creatures and objects as well as to see into the ethereal plane out to a range of 120 feet. That is cool. Mm -hmm. The eyes on the road can't be closed or averted. And they you can close or avert your own eyes. You're never considered to be be so while wearing this robe. That means like um, uh, everything that uses to lock eye. I think the basilisk, that type of creature. If if someone wants to be a dickhead, he can cast light or daylight on your robe and you're going to be... I know, I was reading that. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> How much is the robe? Well, hey, do you want to requisition it? Requisition, what does that mean? Do you want to... Do you want to, do like, you want to uh, take it? He's willing to give it to you. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, maybe. Do you have anything else? <laughs> I don't like being blind. Well, well, I find this one useful. Pun intended. <laughs> a uh, robe of useful he, items. He, he says, yeah. <laughs> Says your robe with a bunch of different colored cloth patches. The robe of useful items is actually awesome yeah. uh, i've had some insane luck with it in the past uh a dm gave it to me and 
it had it ended up having like mostly all of the money items on it yep like the the silver coffers and stuff and it just it gave our party so much money i know what you i mean. like i like the robe of eyes that's cool could i get that one there you go now if you decide that you want one of these other ones you're gonna have to return that one okie dokie are those all one. of the ones that you have uh we do have this one and it's a robe of serpents <laughs> what is what is a robe of serpents it's a stylish silk garment that is uh popular among wealthy nobles and retired assassins the robe is emblazoned with 1D D4 plus 3 stylized serpents all brightly colored. On its bonus action on your turn, you can transform one of the robe's serpents into a giant poisonous snake. Snake instantly falls from the robe, slithers into an unoccupied space next to you, and acts on your initiative down. Snake can tell, tell friendly creatures from hostile ones and attacks the latter. The snake disappears in a harmless puff of smoke after one hour, then drops when it drops to zero hit points or when you dismiss it no action required once detached the snake can can't return to the robe when all the the robes snakes are detached the robe becomes a non-magical garment that's really cool mm -hmm. could i get that one that's really cool <laughs> but what do you want they want the robe of eyes the robe of the serpents the robe of Items. The rogue of the sneak people. Okay, serpents it is. As much as I agree with the robe of useful item, you can have mastiff, so you can have dogs. <laughs> yeah, I want the robe of snakes. <laughs> you possibly could have mastiff. Yeah, you could. Could is the uh, the answer. Wait, technically, couldn't I just like? Get the robe of useful items, remove all of the items from it, and then give it back empty. <laughs> yeah, when you're done with it, you give it back. You'll probably put in more patches while you're using the other one. I mean, you could, yeah, you could swap these out at any time you want. Basically, anything that, that has stuff that would, that would run out. When you return it, he would start working on basically putting all of those back. So it would take some time before oh. you use it again. But then I want to be able to use it again. I want to see the ritual where he just shoves snakes in the robe. <laughs> he just like goes to a, like an Indiana Jones snake pit. He's just <laughs> shoveling them into this sack so he can like stitch them onto this robe. Uh, usually, I'm, <laughs> usually Lila helps me out with those. Oh. <laughs> Well, she he can she can summon them. So I know they say it's fake creatures, but strangely enough, in order to create these, it works. That's awesome. Well, because it ends up just being the magical creation of one anyway, so it really kind of doesn't matter. I am definitely gonna time, take the rope of sneaks though. Okay, that is really requires a two-minute. Okay, dokie. Um, you you like kind of like throw it over over your shoulders, and it kind of like all of a sudden kind of like parts to allow your wings to come through, and then and as it kind of like falls down, it then uh, uh, seals itself underneath your wings. Oh, cool! So it basically creates its own wing holes. <laughs> nice. I, I could I just want to look like a really moody cultist thing covered in stakes and have it like pulled over my head and you could just see my wings that I'm like he, 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 he. like Palpatine style. Wow, <laughs> I cannot not agree with that. So are we departing for the next uh, mission? Well, we gotta go talk to Leosin because we have no details about it. Well, I do kind of want to give some description on something because I think it would be really cool. Yeah. Okay. So cool. as I was just saying, like, like for the next mission. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought this would be cool. As as you're you're coming back, and before you ask to go talk to Kreb, you see Krebus leading you 
wall and um, uh, you see uh, Rurks there kind of like like stretching himself he, off and it says he's looking at it like alright you think you're ready to do this and you see Kriv there in his full plate armor and you, you see that the armor is definitely different uh, it's uh yeah, it has a little bit more s spikes. You see this, like, like uh, the the trim. That's what I was trying to look for the last time I was talking about this. You see the trim of like all the all the metallic plates of the plate armor uh, is now trimmed with platinum and, and uh, looks a little bit more shiny. And uh, um, works just like, just looking at at Kriv and is like, well, I don't know about you, but I would like to rage. Is Kriv angry enough to rage? Uh, I need Kriv to to roll me an initiative. All right. Oh, he does have advantage. I, I, I think work is going first anyways. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> <laughs> I do get plus five, so if I'm mad at that, I would have been going first. Uh, oh. In the meantime, that I don't have anything to do in this, I need to. <laughs> well, I, I'm, waiting, I'm about to do a description. Oh, I I'm doing this so y'all understand. <laughs> Go on. The, yeah, just just to show you show you more of this. Go. So work work comes in and and uh, takes us it takes a swing. Nothing. Yeah, and uh, and he just like kling, against the armor. And goes, ah, Ugh. I mean, he de definitely does have extra attack, but he's not taking it. So, <laughs> just want to say, only rolled a five. <laughs> so then, then Kriv, would you like to rage? I would like to rage. <laughs> so, You're raging. So, Ah! And as he's do doing that, the armor like almost like liquefies and just kind of like sinks in, and then it looks just like his skin, his, his actual regular skin, is now the colors of your of the armor, and you just see his regular like dragonborn scales, but you also see this kind of like single pauldron with leather straps across the chest and. And uh, around his legs, you see kind of more of like almost like loincloth-ish type belt and and uh, uh, pant uh, shorts come, and it just kind of like wraps around as if it's just a second skin. But all the but it's just the same exact colors of the armors that that he was wearing. So his head is now like the helm of of the of the armor was platinum. His Instead of blue scales, it looks like he has platinum scales on his head, and then there's, like, gold around his neck. And it's just, like, instead of armor, it's his skin. Nice. nice. And there's blue, it, like, lightning. Like, as he's, like, while he's enraged, um, he, there is, like, blue, almost lightning go crackling off of his skin going all around him. So that's the description. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and, and you watch as, as Kriv and Work just go back and forth, just beating on each other. Work, work uh, 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 throws Kriv over your shoulder, and, and Kriv trips him, and it's just this back and forth brawl between the two. So if I understand clearly, if Sister passes by there, she's going to say, Get a room. <laughs> Not in front of the children's. 
That's not what I mean by going at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's definitely a barbarian uh, fisticuff brawl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're going at it. They're 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 beating up <laughs> each other. <laughs> For me, it all sounds the same. And by the way, I just I'm looking at his uh, subclass, and I think there's a section mission, but I might be uh, like wrong. Yeah, it, we. I was telling him about that. For some reason, like when we look at it, even when uh, when when I looked at it on my laptop, it's not showing all the descriptions for the auras for third level. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing in the auras, and um, it says uh, your aura is an effect that activates when you enter your rage, and you activate the effect again to each of your turn as a bonus action, like the um, storm uh, storm herald, which is nice. But then basically, we'll... that's what this is. It's it, it, modified it's Storm Herald. Yeah. yeah, but then we don't get like what kind of Storm Herald dish we, we have. So I'm like, uh, huh. Right, I, I, I don't know because every time I look at it, it gives me the options. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, pro maybe you didn't click on like show in the uh, in the subclass. Or you could put it on, as a uh, separate, um, separate uh, sheet. Well, not sheet, but like descriptor. Well, for, it, uh... it it should be part of the basic description of that feature. Yeah, is the thing. <laughs> but we're not we're not here to troubleshoot that. No, no. It's a, I, I was just yeah. asking if there was a problem if it didn't put correctly or and yeah. if I if if I was the only one seeing that and just. Like crazy. I appreciate that you didn't, didn't gaslight me. No, no, we all see it correctly. Oh, I brought it up to his I, attention. Because I see under Dracotic uh, Soul, I see like that the the options are like duplicated. <laughs> he wouldn't do. But all the options are there. Has options. Doesn't say how to build builder. Hard class level. Granted. I don't feel like it's gonna be much use. It's not gonna be much use for a while, so it's not a big yeah. thing for us. I'm not gonna worry about it. I still need to get to level. Three. Twelve. Or, yeah, whatever. But well, technically twelve. Three, t three in the class. Well, it's actually so eleven, level eleven, because we're level nine, and it's two more. Four, I guess. Yeah. So not worry about it. So that's my de my description. Um. But yeah, um, I did whisper something that what Crib was doing while in the marketplace in case there's. Anything you want to happen? Um, Basically, I just went to the Temple of Bahamut and did some meditation and check on the commission. I'm going to say that it's done, just because I totally forgot you had that. Also, yes. I think I, also, I think I told you to keep track of the time. <laughs> I have. I saw, uh, I'm at 14 okay. days. How much was it? It was supposed to be 15 it was, days, wasn't it? It was, no, um, the Dragon Star took a total of 30 days. But we had reduced that, right? That's after it was reduced, because originally it was 100. Oh, that's right. So 30 days, so they yeah. still worked on it. Yeah. Right. Never mind, but, uh, I thought you were asking if it was done, but you knew it wasn't. No, I know it's not, but it's, kind of, it's but I know it's not. Kriv doesn't. <laughs> so he's checking in on it, but no, I literally went have a little table going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Let's go show. But yeah, he's also going to spend some time and meditate slash pray to Bahamut. All right. 
Bébé, t'as le nez tout de suite. Si there's any guidance to be given. Bahamut's just still really mad at you. It's been a hot minute since we've talked, so who knows how it's gonna change. I won't point it out. Why is he so mad at you this time? Well, I mean, he hasn't really. <laughs> I don't know one way or another. I've only talked to him once in this whole campaign. That seems okay. <laughs> After spending like five days praying, it's just not straight. Like, it's not like he's talking to you and you're just not answering. <laughs> Uh, any other business or we can see what Leosin has to say. Yes, let's see what Leosin has to say. Baby, you're so cute. My cat is freaking cute. I I gathered that. <laughs> He's on me on his back and he's accepted the fact that he cannot do anything. He is not master of his life. All right. Um. Hmm. Okay. So. You guys uh, uh, get everything together um, and meet up with uh, Leosin. And Leosin says that it tells you the worm speaker known as Verm the White apparently has lost the white dragon mask. At least that's what the rumors are saying. What is the dragon, the white dragon mask? Um, it is, uh, I'm not sure of the, the specifics of the, these masks, uh, but they seem to be a representation of, of a worm speaker, uh, one of the highest ranks, um, ranks in the cult of the dragon. Uh, the white dragon mask is a signifier of that. Uh, and apparently the white one has lost his. Ha, <laughs> nerd. And he has gone in search of it. The last I have heard anything about this um, uh, was... Uh, I do have someone uh, to contact named uh, Bolo. Wait, 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 hold on. Uh, I wish they had given me something to read for this. There is someone named Bolo near near the town of Borskir Bridge. Um, she is a Tenside Inn. And uh, you may want to speak there and she may have some more information for you. Cool. What was her name? It's it's the it's Bolo, the progenitor. The she says it's a female halfling named Bolo. Okay. Let's see, where, oh. where would be the best place we could find her? Or the fastest one? Well, she has an inn. So oh, in the, in the city? No, uh, it's at Borskar, Borskir Bridge. Okay. Let me, let me, let me. Yeah, I really should have done more reading into this. 
Where is that? Is that even in the Sword Coast? Now we're in the remem remembered realm. The rest of the, the Sword Coast is the, unrem the, the forgotten ones. <laughs> no, the entire world of Toril is the forgotten realms. I um, know. Right, LS it's supposed to be Luskin. Never mind. That's another matter altogether. I think it's on a different part of Faerun. So now I have a Faerunian map. Oh, that's swell. Well, for goodness sakes. Why can she give me a map which actually has where this is? Give us more description about where it is. Do we have a description on form? Oh, it's north of the Did you give us one? Anyway. The Verum? Yeah, very. Dwarf. Um, so our bear agents are rumors of the theft of the white dragon mask, and we have li recently learned that the dwarf Barum is seen in trade settlement, trade settlement of Borskir Bridge near the Serpent Hills. That's what I was looking for. So, Serpent Hills down here. And we're right here, right? Yep. That's a journey. Ooh, that's going to be a long trip. If anything can pro provide you with mounts. When you guys can head out. Yay! Actually, mm -hmm. would you mind giving me a specific description of where we're going? You wouldn't mind. Uh, honestly, I've never been to. Honestly, I've never been to Borska Bridge. All I know it's south of the Serpent Hills. You have traveled at least. Let's see. Yeah, you would have gone. Like, the closest point you would have been would have been, like, just south of Dragonspear. So, you, you probably were... Dragonspear is right here. So, you could cut some time down by getting to Dragonspear. Alright. I've been to Dragonspear before, right? Yep. Sorry, I'm j I was just... We all things. have. Yep, it was uh, on your way up from Baldur's Gate to Waterdeep. It was, the I was, yeah, it was the one town in between. Um, can I just see pings on the map of where we are? So we are here. Mm -hmm. Where are we mm -hmm. going? 
You're going down to here. Okay. And where is Dragon Spear? Right here. All right. Uh, a Frederica. Over halfway. Frederica? Yes? You have that fancy helmet. Use it. Bippity boppity boop us right there. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's try this. So, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Because I've never used it in Sister Frederica neither. So, that's gonna be nice. All right. Uh, question. Um, did we yes. do we have anything from Dragon Spear? Do you have? What do you mean? Did we get any sort of equipment or anything from that location? Well, we. That's where I sold my mithril armor. That's right. Yeah, but that means you don't have it. <laughs> well, I know, but it's it's just they they know me. The smithy, the smithy might be. No, we're, we're I talking about we're a talking about specific an specific item, object. a specific object. Oh, um, that's all coming together. No, oh, I don't think right. I bought anything. Who, who's who's going to use the helm? Oh, well, I will. Okay, I need you to roll me a d100. Yeah. Are you sh no, no 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 we aren't using it yet. Cool. Okay. Does, does that <laughs> mean yeah, no, 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 no. do you want to continue? Yeah, does that mean that you're unwilling? No, we're what? not using it yet, Frederica. But Shut up. Okay, just keep going, keep going. Keep going, Cyrus. Yeah, I'm reading. I mean, he specifically said "bibidi bobbidi boop us back to get back there." It's an action. I didn't to say report. start it. Yeah, anyways, get, get, are you get, attuned get. to it? Yes. I mean, we can, we, we can, you know, swap items before teleportation. That's fine. No. Okay, you want something from there? Here's a gold piece. Probably one of my gold pieces is still from there. All right, roll, roll me a D1000, Kriv. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Actually, no. Roll me a D however much gold you have. Okay. <laughs> so... I got a, I got a number already. Technically, it would be a percentile of how much he actually sold the mithril armor for. Oh, that's true. Which but he could I don't have, remember. But how here's much. the thing: is here's the thing: is he's also done some. He's also spent some gold. <laughs> I think it would be like a D one D. However much gold he has, um. Then divided by half of how much mithril armor okay, he, let, let, how much let his me mithril make it, armor let is. Let me simplify, simplify this. No, you can't use use a piece of gold. <laughs> um, yeah, you have absolutely no idea if that was actually from <laughs> a piece of gold from Dragon Spear. What exactly was? It was sorry, a try. I'm, the Dragon Spire. What exactly mm -hmm. was? Dragon Spear was a tower. What happened there? It was just a resting point for us. Yeah, I don't, I don't think anything actually happened there. Because it was it was the first like it was the only town really in between Boulder's Gate and Waterdeep well, there, that we were able to stop. There was two. There was one down here, and there was one up. Here. Oh, yeah. So we had here and Daggerford. Daggerford was Daggerford. where Jamna actually joined the caravan. Uh, Dragon That's right. was just a stop between those two places. You did. You would have spent at least a day there. Oh wait, we did. Oh, That's where yeah, I sold my. We did. I have. I have a book from there. Oh no, but it's it's where we got attacked by the um, the uh, giant spiders, right? No, we didn't get attacked there because that was a day of rest, and we um. I did like some, we did some shopping and stuff. I sold my armor for half of what like a 
a fraction yeah, of what I, it was. That's where I got all uh, the manuals for everything. Like the um the just general books on how to do stuff. And I got one of my renowned points. Yeah, that's that's where I got them because we were doing a whole bunch of stuff on the way and we wanted to Cyrus wanted to pick up books to read, new stuff to read on the way. You, you don't have to keep rolling. Stop rolling. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> oh, someone's um, rolling? Yeah, Frederica is whispering me rolls. <laughs> yeah. You like uh, to so whisper Cyrus things. Cyrus will give Frederica... Actually, Cyrus will just ha ha put his hand out. Give me the helmet, please. You're going to kill us all if you use that. I take this as an insult. Thank you very much. I'm going to keep my helm. I'm going to teleport the party, too. Okay. So I'm going to counterspell, you, you appear, fucking idiot. You, you, you appear Absolutely not. <laughs> It was successful. <laughs> I don't well, care. I'm not letting him teleport us without us having a fixed object. Well, first of all, when I when I did, like you literally said teleport us back there, so I just did. It takes an okay. action. Let, let let me just say this just to simplify anything and to uh, decrease arguments. <laughs> if we were talking about I would have considered that because you had spent a day there that you were very familiar like you were familiar with the ins and outs but you were there for a while you walked around town town you were familiar enough i, I wouldn't say a scene casually that's like if you just walk through town and I but didn't you spent part. a day there so i would say that you were familiar with it uh rolling to 48 it's an on-target shot no problem no mishap no off-target no similar area. So just at the second before we leave, Cyrus is yelling like he's gonna die. No way, don't! And we, arri <laughs> and we arrive and Cyrus is like, ah! Ah, ah, ah. We're alive. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just heard counter and we were there. I mean, we, we could also continue going and being like, oh, I have a book from there. Yeah, that works. That yeah. works. Too. And, and either case, you made it. Yeah. Okay. You're in Dragon Spear. Here, you could like pop into the a town square that you guys had, had been through. You're like, people get startled. Uh, and you're like, uh, did you did you take horses? Did you take the I mean that you were off? I don't think so. Or are you I gonna walk? Or we're are you probably gonna, gonna rent some horses? Once. Well, we could rent some. We, we could still. I mean, we could. Prove, I, think I mean, if we weren't instantly teleported, we would have been able to think this through. Well, but I'm, I'm whatever. I mean, you would have at least figured out whether you were taking the before you te tell. Oh, but don't worry. Fredrika was very insistent that she just did it. So we can't really think things through, right? So why would we think things through when we can just instantly teleport the party? Exactly. Beside, we can just rent sh like horses here and bring them back. Great, we can you. Yeah, sorry. Let's just let's all just calm down. I understand frustration and all, but take a deep breath. Teleport wise, it, it was. <coughs> I could still, I, I could still say you probably prepared before anybody was going to cast teleport. I don't disagree with that. So, so you were taking your mounts as well, right? Sure. So just I wouldn't have hmm? I wouldn't I wouldn't have taken one just because I I can do fun Steve. Okay. I fly. Um, would Gizly would can, would Gizly use fun Steve? Yeah, since we both are able to okay. do that, like just to save. So it would just be two mounts. 
Yeah, for her sister one's for, and one's for Zin. Frederica. Frederica. And one for Zin. All right, got some. You're in uh, Dragon's Bear, and um, I'm assuming you probably had left early enough where you could uh, start your venture out. And being your current level, I'm assuming that any dangers along the way would either be uh, fended off or or they probably would have avoided you. And you reach the town of Borskir Bridge. How many days would it have taken us? Um... From Dragon Spear. Because you probably do about 15 miles a day. And you think you would have gone. Well, that's not right. Their scaling is off. <laughs> <laughs> well, wasn't there other. I thought there was a legend that was like this much equals how much. Yeah, I'm looking, like, looking for the legend. Where's the legend? I don't, I don't see it on. The map doesn't have a legend. I'm gonna say it would take about. Uh, let's see, because it took a month to get, or two months to get from Boulder's Gate to Waterdeep. Mm -hmm. Here is going to be a lot less. I'm going to say it only took about seven days. Okay. Sadly, none of those days can be worked on the short sword. Riding. Yay! So it just works towards the Dragon Star. And apparently Borsker Bridge Yeah, it's north and east of the trightway, so okay. You're able to to easily locate it. Um it's Winding River and his major landmark. Where is that? Yeah, I would probably say it's somewhere around here. Um, Spans of Winding River and constructed black granite. Pretty sculpted images of David Sirk and Paul commemorating the legendary battle they fought on the bridge during the Temple Steps. So there's near what actually is Borskir Bridge, is looks to be like some sort of way station something. It's a little more than a collection of tents, wagons, and caravans, which provide food, fresh mounts, and other supplies to travelers. A contingent of paladins from the theocracy of Eltergard uh, maintains watch over the bridge in a newly built keep. Uh, you do see uh, a little tent side inn, you could say. Rough and tumble establishment, which is set up in a large pavilion near the center of uh, Borskir's tent city. And you see a bunch of other people <laughs> milling about. We built ten. I guess we'll go ahead and head into the inn. Yes. Go in. You kind of have. I'm also going to have my seed kind of just make 
stay on alert since I can talk to itself. Okay. It keeps it keeps watch. And uh, inside, you see. You know when you go to like a wedding and the, the like reception or something is like in a tent. And it has stables and stuff. That's that's basically kind of what what this place is like. There's a makeshift uh, bar, uh, and then because um, it's it's a really large like sectioned off tent with like like there's fabric between things, and there's what looks kind of like a hallway where there's like cubicles of of um, of rooms for lack of a better word so there really isn't no there isn't really any privacy <laughs> uh to it but you could have kind of like a portioned off place place from other people where you're, if somebody was to sleep and there's not many of them there's probably like four or five of them uh in, in the back there and you see a halfling uh woman uh Wandering around, she looks up at you and says, Hey, welcome to Bolo's Ten Side Inn. Take whatever table you want. I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. And, and we'll uh, have a seat. And she, she helps out a couple of uh, other tables. She comes over, wiping her hands on her... her uh, little apron and says oh well you are an interesting group of people um, what can I do for you folks or what can I get you there's a little menu uh, on the table uh, I pick up the menu and look over it I'll just uh, have an ale yeah ale uh, ale mead stew <laughs> That's I'm going to make a stew and it's like one, two, three. Uh, for I'll three. have a mead. Let's take some stew. Actually, yeah, we'll do a mead. All right. And there's Jordan, Jordan over here who doesn't know what is the difference between a mead and a hit. Uh, mead is made is out of honey. honey. Mead is honey? Yeah. Mead it's is made honey out of honey. honey. It's fermented yeah. honey. Oh, it's kind of like a... Uh, hydromel, right? It's made from honey. It, it, yeah, it's a it's a honey wine. Okay, yeah, no, I, delicious. I know, I know, yeah, I know exactly what it is. <laughs> it's, I didn't know in English it was called mead. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, ale is like beer. It's a type of beer. Uh, so ale one two three so. Um, uh, uh, mead and ale coming right on up. Uh, she uh, comes back and uh, uh, she and uh, must be one of her, her employees comes back with um, a mead for each of you and uh, a bowl of stew. Uh, and, uh, so, and actually she brings over a, a big old bowl of stew that's like rather large and it has a ladle in it and then uh just a pile of uh soup bowls um and puts the whole thing on the table so basically serve family style <coughs> oh. nice. all right holler if you need anything else uh how much do we owe you ma'am well uh the stew is five gold or not five gold it's five gold. This better be some damn good stew for Zika. <laughs> the stew is the, the stew is five silver, uh, and each of the meats are two silver. Let me let me pay it. And okay. just gonna pay. I'm just gonna give uh, ten silver and uh, tell her to keep the change. Her filthy animal. I, I mean. Well, that's actually not enough. Sure. Short. Well, there's two meat and Fit. one. There, there's five. Three drinks. Oh, I you remember you also yeah. have Gizli and Zin. Yeah. Okay. My bad. I forgot about those. <laughs> you got. You've got five mead, 
mead, so that's that Sten Silver right there, another five for, for just two. This, so, this two. So, so I'm gonna I would say it, twenty. Yeah, I'm gonna give it twenty. Oh what? Thank you, hunt. Um and also, ma'am, um we we're looking for a I don't know. A person of for that we're supposed to um, be looking for. Um, it's a dwarf. Theorem. Maybe possibly her around here. There's been a lot of dwarves around here. Not, not much you could say. Like, do you remember what they're wearing? Uh, one thing that probably should should have mentioned is is that most of the worm worm speakers and higher level. Uh, uh, cultists wear purple robes. And yeah, he would have worn um, like purple robe of sorts. Hmm. Oh, I don't know why I'm talking southern all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, a dwarf in purple robes. Uh, oh, you know what? I saw him. He was asking about escorts into the hills when this hooded fellow starts asking asking him his business. A uh, dwarf looked him straight in the eye, pulled out his dagger, and stabs it. The tall fella dead. He was one of them scaled folk from the Serpent Hills. Came down to spy on us. That dwarf's a hero. Make no mistake. That he and his entourage took off straight away for the hills. And quick as cats. Uh, how long ago was this? Mm, it was just the other day. Not long. Would you be able to tell us which direction is those uh, hill? I mean, the, the hill's right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The big old hills. <laughs> it's a, they're, they're really the only hills. I mean, to the south here is the forest worms. There's that big, big high moor. Those? Those? The, 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 no, we're, 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 we're over here. here. <laughs> over here. <laughs> This Pay is attention. Are you even pinging the map over here? I need your thoughts. It's like I'm pinging. I'm pinging too. Pay attention. I'm doing whatever I can, okay? I mean, you're, you're not looking to like, harm him or anything, are you? Oh, what no, 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 no. No, we just have some business with him. Okay. We just well, have as some as business. As long as it's a good thing. Him. He's here for for these parts. We don't don't want them scale folk being around here. Y'all. Oh no. Y'all realize. Well, scale scale folks. Are you mean more like me, or any critical point of himself? No, I'm like, like snake like people. Oh, oh gotcha. the people! They kidnap people all the time. Yeah. They're, they're... <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks. Yeah, bad. Well, we appreciate for you for this meal and all this this information that you've given us. It's exactly what we need. Oh, excellent. Well, when you do see him, just let him know that we appreciate everything that he's done for us. We shall. Yes, ma'am. She another table gets rowdy and she goes, "Hey, you two guys, that bat!" Blah, 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 and goes off and start working on her. Uh, she seems to be a tough little girl, a well, woman. She's probably like in her hundred and first halflings. All right. Uh guess we should start getting ready to head that way. Once we finish this, of course. Alright. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. Uh, the stew is delicious. Very hearty. <laughs> Cyrus would like to look Kriv dead in the eye and be like, I'm too young to drink and take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> you are, what, six years old? Yep. <laughs> Who said there's drinking laws here? 
Uh, Cyrus, roll me a constitution check. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Now that you reminded me. (laughs) It's very sweet. You're really liking it. You're really liking it. (laughs) Feel it. Uh, where's precipitation when you need it yeah you just ended up drinking (laughs) too much (laughs) because like meat is sweet it doesn't taste very much like alcohol right so no it does it it, it, it does (laughs) I've actually had meat yeah it does (laughs) yeah (laughs) And it is uh, uh, almost 10 to you, our closing time. I think before we start making our journey through the Serpent Hills, I think we're going to call it there. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'm that's still a good waiting point. to go pee. <laughs> all right. Oh, you can go pee. I'm gonna Thank you. I, lo- I love you all, guys. <laughs> uh, we'll do a little post show time here. So Bye, everyone in the in the stream. Bye. Uh, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not ending the stream yet. I'm just doing like switching over to the thing. So. Yeah, but I'm. I'm saying. You you could run do stuff. Yeah. Yes, I'm saying bye everyone. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Here, I'll put the urinals on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> there. Well, yeah, I, I, I. I was bad and didn't prepare enough because for some reason i thought we were gonna like do more of the other stuff (laughs) but we kind of ended up getting through that pretty quickly that was a pretty cool session yeah. yeah. I'm happy I'm barbarian now. And whenever you go into a rage, you become like metallic rainbow uh, barbarian. Who's uber dexterous? Because my dex goes up to like 22. <laughs> Yeah, so and when I'm and when I'm reaching, I have a health pool of 144 points. Those are kind of skyrex rockets. See, the, that kind of uh, uh, balances out any like the the, the whole resistance thing uh, like that uh, like a bear would have. <clears throat> you already have have resistance. You would all. Because you have resistance to to slashing, piercing, all uh, forms of e- melee, of of regular, uh, uh, ordinary damage. I wouldn't say melee damage because arrows are piercing. Um, <laughs> your health pool is relatively doubled, <laughs> <laughs> so your health pool, because you're not resistant to magic stuff uh besides whatever you will be uh, and anything you already had from other things it just i'm a arrows i'd be um resistant against yeah you you would have resistance against that too so yeah because i was just saying melee the melee type weapons i'm resistant yeah slashing well yeah because but melee resistance can do piercing rapiers daggers uh slashing swords Legend, mm-hmm. Warhammers, Maces, that sort of thing, but also ranged weapons as well. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Uh, oh, well, me- range melee weapons, close range me- melee weapon. Piercing, slashing, and bludgeoning. You have, yes. you have per- resistance to it, and any of your regular other resistances that I gave you. Fire and cold, right now. But then, because you have your initial health pool. But then, because your constitution goes up, your health pool goes up. That gives you another buffer, which is then 
relatively doubled for all that, <laughs> that yeah. non-magical damage. Yeah. And then your ACs should steal. I, I think it goes up by one, maybe two. No, uh, or, let's see. Let's just quickly let's see. Two battle plate. Uh, it goes up to twenty-five. All right, I am heading off for the night. Right. Okay. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye bye. Right, I'll do that. I'm going to end the stream. All right. Bye. Yeah, I go